Kia ora everybody, and welcome back to Civilization VI. Uh, my name is Jumbo Pixel from New Zealand, and today I'm playing for the very first time as Kupe. Kupe, leader of the Māori Empire. Uh, Māori um, New Zealanders, of course. And it, it is literally the first time I've played it. So Kupe came out, um, I, I think, years ago. I think. Um, I think it was the, I'm just checking, I think it was the new, before the new Frontier Pass, definitely. So it must have been, um, must have been one of the expansions after Gathering Stormed. But, yeah, look, yeah, looks like it was, looks like it was. Um, so anyway, yeah, playing as Coupe, really excited to try it out. Hello to everybody who is watching this live, and also to everybody joining us uh, on the U on the YouTubes later. Let's jump straight in. So, uh, Māori and Civ VI, uh, I've never played them before, but I have looked them up a little bit. Um, and so I'm, you know, slightly familiar with them. They start very differently from everyone else. As you can see, uh, I have spawned actually in a really terrible spot. This is not the way this should go, I don't think. I think, um, I, I think it, the idea here is that I shouldn't have spawned in Tundra, probably. Um, but what can you do? I don't know. Uh, the idea is, of course, we spawn, uh, without a, without a fixed abode, obviously. I absolutely love Coupe's ability to sail anywhere. Yeah, so... Hi, everybody. So we can sail anywhere we want. So we don't start... We start sailing instead of on land, which is unique to Coupe and the Māori. Um, ideally, we wouldn't have started next to what I assume is the North Pole, right? We can see the north border of the map here, and the, the southern border is goodness knows how far away. Um, looks like we could have some la a landmass down here. So what we do is we, we, we need to sort of have a wee explore, but before um, before I do that, I will just quickly bring up Coupe. Oh! <laughs> I accidentally hit the next turn. I accidentally moved the unit. Okay, sorry. Very early start for me today. All right. Um, let's bring up Māori again. So... Here we go, mana. So at the beginning of the game, we start with sailing and shipbuilding. Uh, embarked units have plus two movement. Unimproved tiles provide additional uh, production. Um, mercantilism plus two production from cons conservation. Fishing boats provide plus one food and a culture bomb to adjacent tiles. So we're going to want a lot of fishing boats early on. Uh, we can build the pa, which is a, a tile fortification. Uh, and the Marae, which replaces one of our cultural buildings, I believe. Uh, and our downside is we can't have great writers. Not sure, not sure about that, but either way. Okay, so <laughs> I've accidentally moved my warrior, but, uh, hilariously, it was probably the way that I wanted to go anyway, because obviously I wasn't going to settle up there. The game's like, build a city here. No. No. Absolutely not. Alright, I'm going to explore this way with my settler. A little risky to explore with a settler, but we just have... Ooh, hello, Singapore. We just have um, so much movement and vision as Māori in the ocean, so um, I, I'm willing to take that chance. We can see a couple of fishing boat resources here. Um, these island uh, reefs. Ooh. Interesting. Okay, so if we settle there, it looks like Singapore has, has kind of got that covered. Um, we could go for the early aggro on Singapore, which I'm not mad at. Hello to everybody in the live chat. Oh, devilish. Already devilish with the super chat. Uh, piracy today, control the seas. No need to have a city. Oh, just happy to support. You're too kind. You're going to get one. Don't you forget. It's 6.30 a.m. here. Yes. In Slovakia, it's 8 p.m. Wicked. Wicked. I'm glad it's a good time for you, friend. Um, we're going to spend a few turns scouting around. Uh, as Māori, um, we get plus two culture and plus two science before we settle our city. So we can afford to take a little bit of extra time. Uh, a little bit of extra time just to scout around. 
this la- this island here is looking quite juicy. Oh my goodness, Block of Chalk YT with the five dollar super chat stream hype. I woke up and couldn't get back to sleep either. Oh <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, awesome to see so many of you guys in the live chat. Yeah, here. Also not mad at settling around here. Not particular. We don't see a particularly great amount of food. Um, but some good mountain tiles and potentially a quick push on Singapore. We could connect Jade. Uh, a lot of useless tiles down there. Let's have a wee peek. Oh, I think this is going to be us. I think this is probably going to be us here. There's a lot of a lot of, of good tiles, right? Here, here is probably the place to be. Lots of good surrounding tiles near the city. Um, and we can still launch pad over. And I agree, we will control the seas, right? That's the idea. That is the idea. Um, so let's bring our settler all the way over. Goodness gracious, look at all these tiles. We could actually settle down this way even. Um, oh, we do want fresh water. Fresh water. Maybe less of a concern for us, actually. Let's jump onto land just quickly. Yes, there is actually... That, that could be a really fun spot for us, actually. That would be quite a high yield tile as well. Uh, let's go Barb and Faith and Gold. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, Adi, I was just reading your um your uh comment in the chat. Don't go to any trouble. Don't go to any trouble and take care of you first. But really, 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 really appreciate the um the thought. Um yeah, I I really like this idea because then this will function as an immediate canal city. Not that this island is particularly difficult to get around, although we don't know what's up here, but um I like it. It's a high food, so it'll be a two food, two production city. Um, shout out to my <laughs> How to Settle Cities guide that I made. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, no, it's it's not, it doesn't look like it's a big island, but we're not bothered. We're not bothered. We're going to plop a city down here and then immediately spam some out and travel the oceans, travel the world. Scientopia. I love it. All right. You're on. Uh, so Devilish was the first to super chat. So we shall call this city probably not aptly named. Although we could we could definitely make it a science capital. Uh, Scientopia. I got that right, didn't I? Yeah. All right. <clears throat> cool. Done. Done. And block of chalk. Yours will be next. I see you. I see you. Super chatting. <laughs> I see you. Um, I'm not sure about the tech build order for Maori because, of course, we start with shipbuilding, which is so incredibly strong. Um, I assume we want to build on that with the likes of celestial navigation, probably astrology as well. Um, but let's go first and foremost. I don't really see us needing, uh, what, what actually, what luxury did we connect here? Irrigation. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, <laughs> sure. Let's get pottery. Let's get pottery. Can't go wrong with a granary. I always figure, um, I'm surprised we haven't discovered a second continent, but we will definitely improve three tiles because as the Maori, uh, we get a free builder, which is instant win for us. Unfortunately, the only downside to this city is I haven't connected to any sea resources, which are really important, uh, I think, for Māori. So let's jump back out into the ocean and continue our explorations. Um, along that vein, along that vein, I want to get a settler out 
really as soon as I can, but I will go one scout first. One scout, and then bam, straight into a settler, and we're going to push, 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 and sort of throw ourselves around the world as far as we can get. We'll grab the early irrigation, seen as we get a benefit for that. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Hoping the game will... Um, let's run up there. Do I prefer Civ 6 over Civ 5? No, but, um, but I, I, I like Civ 6 a lot more than I used to, put it that way. Uh, we will need growth, you're right. Um, might just hold off on that settler just for a little bit. A little bit longer. Oh, tobacco. <laughs> Not, I'm not like mega excited about it, but um, still new. All right, we've got our scout, which can embark immediately as Marty, which is fantastic. Um, so let's send him out as well. Let's just go far and wide, people. Good. Surely we're not at the bottom of the map. I think we look at all these resources. Goodness gracious! I think we definitely want a city over here, probably on this tile next to the fresh water. Um, although a little close to the desert, but not the end of the world. Um, let's pop around. Oh, look, and there's milk as well. Couldn't be any more New Zealand. Oh, and there's turtles and jade. Look at this. Oh, this is very profitable for us. Very, very profitable. This is gonna, this is gonna be good. Um, right. Scout is on his way. Yeah, I agree, Adi. Um, I also prefer the art style of Civ Five. Uh, again, though, I do find Civ Six growing on me. I do find it growing on me. Um, right. So there's a wee. Oh, brilliant! Here, how about this for growth? Another farm in Scientopia. City population stagnates. <laughs> right. So, uh, looking for... Okay, so there's our irrigation. I'm really disappointed that we haven't found a natural wonder yet. That was kind of my plan. Um, was to bounce into astrology. Uh, I, I feel like we must be due to meet another civilization. So let's go writing. And now I, I think it, I think, yeah, I think we just have to do another settler now. It's, we just need it, right? We just need it. And we haven't found anyone or anything. <laughs> go, go, go. There must be someone here, somewhere. Is this land empty? Goodness gracious. Right, where are you going to um, improve next? A long time, anyway. Yeah, well, hopefully that tile. We would love that production. Hey, biggest spoofer. Yeah, it is a canal city. I thought of you when I founded it. <laughs> thanks for tuning in, everybody. And thanks so much, everybody, who's liked the video so far. We're almost already at 10 likes, and I've only been sleepily streaming for 15 minutes. All right. Um... None of these are particularly useful. That being said, um, the barb combat strength is not not finding us any favour either. Um, let's try and improve a third tile if we can. Again, there's no one here. <laughs> what? Okay, well, we've, we've found a, a new continent, at least. So that's something. I can't be a pirate if there's no one to steal from. Literally. A 
Oh my goodness, it's already at 15 likes. S- sorry. <laughs> my counter must have been out of date. I was like, nine likes, that's amazing. Um, there is literally no one in this world. What is going on? Please. Sid Meier. Please. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually a bit silly. Like, um, I don't know how familiar you are with Civ Six, but this is a bit silly here. Like, there should be another Civ somewhere. If there's not one right here, I'm going to be very surprised. Well, paint me very surprised. Okay, we've found another goodie hut at least. That's something. Uh, this builder is just mucking about, waiting for tiles to improve. And maybe this warrior will find someone? Oh, there's another goodie hut. We'll take it. Peek up that way. Still nothing. Still nothing, friends. <laughs> Did I forget to turn on enemies? <laughs> no. No. No, definitely not. Imagine that. That would be the greatest fail of all time, wouldn't it? I'm going to play as Māori as a New Zealander. This will be fun. It's <laughs> just a world of my own, which I guess is not too dissimilar from the truth when you live in such an isolated island. Um, let's grab this goodie hut. Oh, we have to disembark. Oh, um, what the? I mean, we definitely, Singapore is here, right? We know that other things exist. All right, let's go, Settler. Let's go. Should we pump out another one? Absolutely. We're just going to keep pumping them out before the city can even grow. Okay, okay. Barbarians exist. <laughs> Barbarians exist. Good. Plop down that third tile improvement. Brilliant. Craftsmanship's improved. Okay. Got granted a recon unit. Ha! <laughs> Brilliant. Villagers bring gifts as they join our civilization. And cool, we can send that with the settler so the settler doesn't have to run off alone, which is brilliant. I was just gonna, ooh, yikes. <laughs> okay, other people exist. You gotta love it. Neural, let's pop over this way and grab that city that I've been talking about for what feels like forever. Um, should have disembarked there, really. Pop over there and grab that other goodie hut. Barbarians have spotted our city. Okay, so there's a lot of pirates, at least. The Indian Ocean. Okay, lots and lots of ocean. You'd think I'd spawned in an ocean-only world. Um, yeah, look at that. It's, it's, it's prone to some sea level rise, but um, one of the fun things about Māori in this game, true to life, and sort of very like a um, kaitiakitanga, like a environmental stewardship sort of um, mantra, is that um, they do favour unimproved tiles, unimproved, uh, natural wonders, uh, all that kind of thing. And if you're playing against Māori, if Māori are one of the AIs, um, they will be more favourable towards your sieve if you are good to the planet, basically. So that's kind of fun. Um, little, little fun AI fact for you. <laughs> uh, we will need a quarry at some point, so let's grab it. Oh, <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing. 37 gold in that goodie hut, though. Someone exists because they left their gold behind. I am beginning to wonder if something has gone horribly wrong in the save. We might have to just restart. I mean, this is a bit silly. Maybe I do have enemies off. I'm beginning to wonder now. I don't want to get too far into this if I've got enemies off. Should we restart? Okay, let's have a poll in the chat. Let's have a poll in the chat. It's not too late. We've only been going for 20 minutes. Have I ballsed it up so bad that there are no other sieves in this game? 
and should I restart? Because I feel like maybe you guys are right and there are literally no other civs in this game. What do we think, chat? <laughs> I'm hearing a couple of restarts. <laughs> Okay, nobody mentioned this. All right, everything's fine. Everything's fine. It's all fine. Back to the main menu. Quickly, no one look. No one look. <laughs> yeah, everyone in chat is saying restart. Across the board, restart. Restart, restart, restart. Now we get to set up the game together is the fun part. It's the greatest fail of all time. Okay, so let's create a new game, right? Uh, as, uh, where are we? A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I, J, <laughs> K. Okay, great. Uh, it is my first time playing as Coupe, so let, let's let's not go like two, two balls deep. Let's play on King. Okay, good. Uh, online, right? We don't want to be here forever. Um... Map type open to your suggestions. Coo, coo him. He's he's irresponsible and can't do anything. Um, let's do East Asia would be kind of fun because it's I've, unfortunately there's no Oceania map, so I kind of just have to like make it up. Um, so we'll, we'll just do like archipelago, right? That seems like a good idea. Um, small, uh, let's turn on something fun. Let's do, I want to, I do want to try that, but let's do dramatic ages. Cause that's a good time. Advanced setup. Let's just make sure there's people, right? We'll add a few extras, I think. Let's do that. Small map will add two extra players. That'll make it nice and dense. Nice and dense. Um, and I think everything else should be all good. I'll just quickly cast my eyes over to chat to see what you guys are saying. Archipelago? Yeah, good call, devilish. Do what's in my heart? Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, yeah, and lots of calls for the restart. We did the right thing. All right, we're only 20 minutes in. Let's restart the game with a slightly more, uh, enemy leaders in it now. Oh, and actually, actually, um, we have to add Australia as well. We just have to. The rivalry of the ages. All right. As my witnesses, <laughs> you can see it now. <laughs> we're all in this together. Thank you for bearing with me. Thank you for bearing with me. Um, I suspect there probably were other players in the game because I hadn't, like, I, I hadn't, um, I hadn't turned them off in any way. So I, I do suspect that there were other players in the game, but, um, but that's fine. We'll, we'll start, we'll start a new one. We'll start afresh. We're all in it together. And, uh, oh, Sebastian Whitney with the super chat. Hey Chubbo, so happy to jump in on what is definitely the first game of your stream. <laughs> yes, thank you. You will get a city named after you as well. I've got a pen and paper next to me. And I am writing these down. Utopia and block a chalk if you have a specific name for the city by the way you're welcome to put it in your super chat or whatever um thank you so much for the generosity by the way that is wicked that is wicked um hey i'm seeing the members only um uh emojis in the chat as well that's cool they, they youtube's still 
um, doesn't do them justice. The decompression on them is ridiculous. Um, but thank you so much. Thank you so much for your generosity. Now, let's kick off the stream. Here we go. 25 minutes in. Yes. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, it is. It's apocalypse mode. So, like, disaster intensity is increased. So there's, like, meteor lots more meteor strikes and tornadoes and stuff. That's what uh, that mode does. Could be kind of fun for, for a wee playthrough. Anyway. Here we go. And I see one probably two three land masses uh the northern border of the map is up there southern border we haven't found it likely to be tundra up that way but i do see a couple of juicy tiles uh but let's head down to rangitoto okay okay i will s ah Brilliant! We've instantly discovered a world wonder. Hello, Giants Causeway. We will probably, probably try and take advantage of it if we can. Oh, imagine. Imagine we settle there and just have this, this bountiful, the bounty of the sea. But no tiles to build any districts whatsoever. What do you think? Are you going to stream sometimes with webcam? Uh, Adi, that is, um, that is a really interesting question. My, oh my god, can I settle this city? I so want to settle this city here, even though I know it's a rubbish spot. Oh, woof. Woof, one, two, three. Uh, on the webcam thing, I'm not against it. Like, it, I, like I'm ugly, so you, you won't want to look at me, but, um, but that doesn't bother me. That's a you problem. Um, I'm not against it, but I will probably wait until the channel gets a bit bigger, which you might think that's weird. You have more of an audience if you're not against, but, um, yeah, I would, I would just rather the channel be a larger, well, more well-established thing before I do that. So, uh, watch this space, but at the moment I don't even own one, so I couldn't if I wanted to. <laughs> oh my god, chat is screaming at me to settle that island. Well, 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 what have we here, says Devilish with the $1.99 super chat. Thank you, my man. Your generosity does not go underappreciated at what is a, a very cold 6.57 a.m. morning stream for me this morning. Still a little bit under the weather, so sorry about that as well if I sound a little nasally or off. You're, like, you're probably like, he always sounds nasally. <laughs> no, you're not wrong. Okay. <laughs> anyway, we're going to do it. We're going to settle this crappy island city because chat is just screaming. Mainly just one one player, Artie, but uh, chat is screaming about it, so let's do it. Da, 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 da. The inspirational sight of Giant's Causeway fills the citizens of our new city of Te Hokinga Nui e Kupe with joy. Uh, and while that is absolutely a beautiful Te Reo Māori name, um, and I, I feel sorry for getting rid of it, we've got super chatters up the wazoo ready for cities. So, Scientopia, as promised, has been re-established. Uh, what are you going to do, Builder? <laughs> You're going to improve all these tiles. The yields on these tiles are going to be insane. Mark my words. Uh, we've got a boosted astrology, which is great for us. I think we just pump out, um, a scout and then settler, 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 settler. Production's going to be really tricky. Uh, so we'd, we'd like to connect that tile and build a quarry and probably we'll put probably an, either an industrial or probably a harbour district there and that will be that. Um, wow, okay, I just spun around the world real fast. <laughs> uh, more little islands, another little island city <laughs> needs to be established. Um... We're not actually going to be fighting a lot of barbs, but we will grab the plus one for, uh, or do we want the production? 
we are already getting gold and faith, uh, but we're going to struggle with production, so I'm going to grab that, which is kind of weird, I know, but I'm going to do it. Uh, we've already discovered a second continent, so we're away laughing. We know that there are a significant number of other players in this game as well, so <laughs> keep an eye out. Oh, look at this. This builder is just having an absolute field day in this weird <laughs> island city that is Scientopia that will probably not have a campus district ever unless we discover, uh, what have we got? One, two, three. No, no. I think we've seen its limits, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah, I believe we have. This is the only land we're going to get, these two tiles. It may not even be worth improving the stone. It may be better to just build a district there. Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, so we've already connected pearls and whales. Um, that is a great tile, but I'm going to connect the second whales for the extra food. My god goodness the yields from the sea we will be pirate kings give me a wealth from crime why the island yeah it's bad isn't it it's really bad i am um, when i play civ i like this i love to kind of sort of do dumb things so sorry if that infuriates um naval units production yeah i could see that being useful soon but not right now my goodness we can get a lightning fast celestial na navigation which we should probably do um because this city yeah 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 let's do that let's do that let's push that really hard uh and we may as well pick up the cheap craftsmanship uh let's sail around lots of tiny little islands here lots and lots of them brilliant another scout um we have nowhere to build any districts <laughs> Uh, okay, let's grab the monument and then pump out some settlers. Run to the hills, warrior. Not that there are any hills to run to because this entire world is ocean, apparently. Aha, brilliant. Hong Kong. Almost certain to be uh, a trading partner of ours in the future. And they are an industrial city-state, which maybe is good for us. I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> the hill next to my turtles is plus two. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That hill. That hill is... Th that hill is the only spot. <laughs> Um, right, next up, probably want to get to, we're unlikely to be able to get any of these Eurekas, but we do want to move towards drama, both drama and poetry and political philosophy. Um, so... I guess we'll just we'll just have to start picking them up. Uh, let's grab what policy card do I want the most? Probably the settler production. In fact, most definitely the settler production, because we're gonna settle like there's no tomorrow. We're gonna be an absolute plague on this archipelago, so to speak. <laughs> Look at this kind of weird canal city. <laughs> it literally just has like two houses. That's it. That is it. Okay, Barbland, L nice, 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 um, and yeah, as we expected, snowy, tundra-y, not particularly good land up there. Mural, potentially a good spot around here to settle. Um, ooh, I like that, I like to see that, that's a nice, uh, fur although it looks like it's, uh, a Field of rice surrounded by desert. Hmm. 
We'll just dip. We'll just sort of dip and dive around. Try and discover as much in the map as we can. Oh, there's a goodie hut. I do want that. Yeah, we'll stay there. We'll, we'll disembark. We'll grab that. Hopefully we can pick up, like, um, <laughs> I don't know. Something mildly useful. Uh, holy moly, we're growing so fast. Let's grab another builder and then settler, 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 settler is the plan. Forever. Settlers forever. No. Oh, brilliant. We got a great work. We've only gone and found the Ark of the Covenant. Displayed in the Palace of Scientopia. Brilliant. That is so good. Four faith, eight tourism. Amazing start. And just in time, we've got our production for settlers, which is going to be fantastic. Um... Don't really need any of those. And let's keep beelining. We want that. Let's get state. State workforce. Uh, in terms of our pantheon, what do I want? Does anybody know? Has anybody thought about this? Obviously, probably production from fishing boats is, is the one that really jumps out at me because this city is going to have what one two three four five six seven eight at least eight fishing boats and we really need the production i think that's a no-brainer i can't think of anything that would be more useful to us I mean, plus 25% production, well, just, no, 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 it's got to be God of the Sea. Jumbo is our current ruler of the world. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much to everybody who's tuning in live uh, and liking the video as well. Look at those likes. You guys are amazing. Um, thank you so much. Whenever you whenever you guys comment in the live chat and like the video, by the way, it really pushes the live stream. I don't know if you notice, but it really does. Like, we pick up a lot of people, which is cool. Oh, wow. And we just ticked over 1,300 subs. Woohoo. Good stuff. Thank you, everybody. Um, right. Let's appoint a gov. Uh, hello, governor. Who do we want is the question. Probably just, um... Oh, I think librarian is just a good start, right? A solid start. Let's get extra science and extra culture in Scientopia. Feels good, man. Feels good. There's a good e hut, speaking of. Still not hit the bottom border of the map yet, either. So we are right up, as expected, in the North Pole. Um, gonna get back into the ocean where I belong, I think. <laughs> all the chats, all the views. <laughs> yeah, literally. All the subs, hey! Oh, good stuff. I love that. I love that. Thank you, my dude. Congrats. Um, congrats? I mean, <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah, sure. Congrats. Let's congratulate. <laughs> Let's congratulate all of our new subscribers. Congratulations on seeing the light. Um. Allows traders to embark. Good for us. Harbor. Right. This will probably be our district. Plus one gold for each adjacent coastal resource. Plus one gold for each adjacent city center. Plus, uh, yeah, maybe. Great lighthouse? Potentially? Maybe? It's not great. I mean, it's good. Uh, and state workforce. Production towards wonders. Which was the other one that I thought about throwing in. But we do need our settlers first. So, 
Let's get them. Uh, should probably figure out, like, how to do pottery and how to mine. Um, we'll grab mysticism and then political philosophy. May as well just promote this guy. Let's go, seeing as it's Scientopia, let's go plus one science. Brilliant. Good early science bonus for us, considering we are going to struggle without districts uh, for probably the first little bit of a game. Another city-state. Brilliant. And... Right... My goodness. Oh, look at that juicy yield. Plus five gold on our harbor. How fantastic. Um, yeah, I we're, we're, we're not going to beat that. Let's do it. Boom. Harbor down. Uh, very excited about that. Wondering, I might loop this warrior, start looping this warrior back this way fill in this part of the map because we got old scout mcgee up here doing his absolute damnedest to discover the world uh meanwhile more more fishing boats more yields oh and look who it is if it's not the bloody prime minister of australia himself john curtin it is an honor to meet you john and we would love to sample some of your kangaroo thank you kindly Oh, goodness gracious. Unlock the Oracle, which we're never going to be able to build. Lol. <laughs> and, we've and, and we've just heard about writing, which is apparently a great thing. We can discover it in a turn. How about that? Um, I feel like we're really close to meeting a third city-state, but we're never going to build a wonder. So I'm going to dollar... I'm going to... I'm going to do that one first stupidly um plus one library so we, we don't really stand to gain a lot of plus two science from each great work plus 20 percent production towards city projects probably want the science from the great works right because we're gonna have to try and eep science out as much as we can hello canberra how the blimmin hell are ya they've got a weird island city as well although theirs does look better than ours no it doesn't actually that's a lie thank you so much not a problem right next turn yep we've discovered how to write very good very good very happy um let's also discover how to mine it seems like a something that people would like to know how to do Definitely um, a good spot for a city. Uh, maybe on the Jade or the... It, it, it wants to be on fresh water, probably. So, yeah. But we got options. Another crabs. My goodness. I've never been so excited. And boom, there's our third city-state. Mexico City. I love that. Right, I don't have a plan beyond Celestial Navigation. Um, thinking about our other district, I'm kind of keen on it to either be Cultural or the Industrial Zone. Um, we will need to pick up all these base techs anyway. I also really like the chariots, so I'm going to go, uh, going to grab them. I have, a, I have a soft spot for chariot archers. The same in Civ Five. I love them. They're not even fantastic units. They're pretty good. Don't get me wrong. Um, but, you know, you could do a lot better. Lots of city-states. Still only met Australia. And again, I'm suspicious that the game is shafting me. <laughs> see? Did you see that? When we were engaging with the stream a lot. 16 viewers. Now, 8 viewers. Interesting, isn't it? It's very fascinating. The YouTube algorithm works in weird and unusual ways. Hello. 
Hello, Sophia. When this game first came out, Sophia was so broken. So unbelievably broken. I miss that. <laughs> I miss that a lot. Uh, you, you could pump out so many of their units. It was ridiculous. I, you, you, it was like, kind of like buy one, get one free. It's like fire sale every day. Buy one, get one free. Um, we have a lot of gold, I've just noticed. I always forget my gold. Regular viewers will know this. Um, Scientopia is growing at a, at a ludicrous level. I think we buy a settler. We're just in, we're just absolutely rolling in money. Unit needs orders. Uh, this builder can sleep for now. And let's paint in the rest of this map. Oh, now we actually... Yes, our boar. Uh, we actually need to think about where... Oh, brilliant. And we've unlocked uh, the Mirai, which is our unique uh, amphitheater. So, the Mirai is unique to the Māori. Uh, plus one culture and faith to all city tiles with a passable feature or natural wonder. Which, of course, we settled smack bang on one. After flight, as research received plus one tourism to all of the city's tiles, uh, with a feature on natural wonder, costs no maintenance, and has no great work slots. Because, uh, as Māori, we don't get them. That's our downside. don't think I want to change away from any of these policies just yet. Um, this is not doing anything for me, though, so I might as well save a couple of bucks uh, on unit maintenance. While we're at it, let's get animal husbandry so we can at least settle on some horses. Political philosophy should have picked that up a while ago. Uh, let's pump out some settlers. Let's do it. So, where do we want to settle? Who's next on my super chat list? Blocker Chalk was the second super chat donor of the stream. Uh, right next to that barb camp is pretty juicy. But also, we really value sea tiles. So, just thinking, how many can I connect? One, two, not a, not a huge number. There isn't really anywhere to connect a great deal of them though is there in our immediate area my goodness i mean there's a lot of crabs there we could do another island city another garbage island city again just to go one two three four five six should we do it what do you think let me know popular opinion as always will win let your voice be heard Thinking either uh, here, which doesn't have fresh water, but does connect to some land tiles and a lot of ocean tiles. This this spot here would be pretty good. This spot here is actually slightly better, though, uh, and more defendable. So we probably, here is my thinking. Or, alternatively, um, we go down here. What do, what do you guys think? I think here, and then maybe we just springboard down there. But let me know. Let me know. Um, cool. Animal husbandry. That's all good. Um archery just in case we need some early warring because uh very aggressive sieve down here oh and i see some more borders but i'm kind of keen to skirt around that barbarian if i can help it speaking of let's hope we don't stumble across another one yeah i i really like this i mean these tiles are totally useless um and these tiles aren't particularly high yield but just the access to the ocean tiles that we're going to get is what i really want I'm also going to want a builder, which I will probably buy next turn. Um, because getting an early builder is really 
really, really powerful for us uh, in our cities. I don't think the free builder uh, bonus applies to settled cities with Māori. I think it's just your first city gets a free builder. But again, I haven't played them before. This is an entirely new experience for me. Man, we are painting the map red, team. Absol well, not red yet. <laughs> Wait, let's grab um I'm going to grab this because our palace is insane. I reckon. I reckon. Let's let's just try it and see what happens. Um Am I planning on building any wonders? Probably not that would benefit too much from that. Let's go, um, plus two influence from them and there, and then for my wild card, again, see, none of these really super jump out at me, so let's, um, let's just work on our great profit. We may as well get a religion. Neural, so many technologies, so little time. What's our next big milestone? I think it's... To be honest, not for quite a while, eh? So... Let's push currency. Didn't make a trade route to... Improve it, but that's all good. Right, let's choose a civic as well. Uh, civics, actually, we do have some milestones in civics, don't we? There are a couple of quite important ones for Māori, and I think... Um... Obviously, we're going to work our way through the Enlightenment. And then once we get out the other side, I think our big one is conservation. I believe we benefit quite a lot from that. So we're probably, we probably are going to work our way along the top of the tech tree where we can. Let's grab military tradition. It's nice and cheap. Oh, Sebastian. Welcome, a new channel member! Fantastic! Welcome to the Elite Club. <laughs> That's brilliant. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. In light of this, let us immortalize you forever! Boom. The utopia that is, Sebastian Whitney, has been established. What's that? You want another settler? Fine. Uh, and you can get districts. You're going places, friend. <laughs> you are going places. Let's buy you a builder and uh, build you a monument. Oh, this looks juicy too. Let's go that way, shall we? Thank you so much, by the way, Sebastian Whitney. So good. Yeah, look at all those. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. How fun. That's so cool. Thank you so much. Okay, that seems all good. Now, uh, I'm not going to get two campus districts for probably the longest time. However, I think I can found a religion. Let's get games and recreation. And have a wee peek around here. Oh yeah, look at this. This is juicy. This is very juicy. Uh, and let's start connecting you up some sea tiles, my friend. Look at that yield. Four food. Two production, a gold, and a science. Amazing. 
That is so good. That is such a good yield. Any, really any tile that's yielding, like, above, I don't know. Any tile that is yielding 8 on turn 30 is a very good tile, put it that way. <laughs> like, a very, very, very good tile. <laughs> that is i'm very pleased with that and even though this city is a meme like this is such a meme it, it, the tiles that it's working are actually really good high food you know like high food oh here we go okay so we did it so we hit a golden age as did bloody australia and scythia uh which is fine because i have the super golden age mode on Excuse me, cold voice. Because I have the Super Golden Age mode on, um, I want to see where Iron is, we get really great bonuses from being in a Golden Age as well. But also Dark Age players, uh, interestingly, get some pretty nifty bonuses too. Basically it changes, for those of you who don't know, uh, it was a mode added with the New Frontier pass. Um, and it basically changes the way that golden ages work so when you move through an era in civ 6 it you have the chance to um enter either a golden age or a dark age and um sorry i just got distracted by this ridiculous deal what one time deal two gold and then two gold per turn no um anyway so yeah basically when you enter a golden age or a dark age you get uh wild cards to add where are they? Uh, into your government, right? So next time we can change our government, we'll, we'll wait and do it for free. Um, we're going to get some sick wild cards, basically, and you'll see them soon. They're really good. Uh, speaking of really good, hello, beautiful. Hello, beautiful. I think we settle here. It has to be. It just has to be. That's insane. Um... Should we improve a land tile for a change? That could be fun. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. Sebastian Whitney. Fine. You've done it. Righto, let's keep discovering. We're just going to keep... Just, yep, just, you're totally right. Just a chill, calm, sailing through the ocean. Sailing through the ocean, not a care in the world. Slowly colonizing the entire planet. Uh, shall we pump out another settler, or should we focus internally for a little bit? We, we do now have access to this tile, so we have a very important decision to make. What district is going to be the best on it? So, it is going to be next to a mine. I, I might hold off just a little bit longer on building this district. Um grab the lighthouse for the time being give us a little bit of extra housing because i don't want that to become a problem down the line uh, milk cotton i'm surprised i'm quite surprised that there's not another sieve on this island oh don't <laughs> get away oh, yikes hopefully that warrior will walk the other way because we have no military presence do we is our warrior close actually uh marginally we could we could sail around if we have to <laughs> more little random islands surely <laughs> what do you think about this one ah Brilliant. It is most certainly an honour to meet you, friend. Where are you at? Ah, right, so here we go. So here's the policies that I'm talking about. Um, should I save the builder for uh, to improve Mercury? Yes, we'll definitely improve that Mercury. Yeah, I'll buy another builder uh, with my gold, because that city needs another builder uh, pretty soon. Um, so basically there's one for each victory type, so it's like buff to religion. Buff to science. Commercial hub and harbour districts, gold provides science as well. Canvas districts, gold provides science as well. We have an amazing harbour district, so this is very good. Plus five science at this early on in the game, very powerful. This one is also really good. Plus four culture for every wonder. Each wonder reduces loyalty. That one's really strong, but we can't take advantage of it. Um, 
may purchase civilian units with faith is really good too this this should not be understated uh and we don't really care about that so for now we're going to pop in the science one but but we might tactically pop in this one if we want to spend faith on civilian units at some point but i think this is good uh production towards settlers i'll keep that for a little bit longer and yeah plus five science brilliant bonus particularly because we can't really have a campus right now <laughs> um so yeah a really good bonus for us this warrior is going to be a absolute pain in my backside like the biggest pain my goodness it hurts um just thinking a little maybe a little bit too carefully about my civics i kind of want divine right i think it's going to take us ages to build two campus districts let's just pump through to civil service because civil service is pretty good to have it's quite a foundation uh, quite a foundational one um I think we're pretty keen to to work that one up, eh? I think we are pretty keen to work that up. Yes, we are the first suzerain in the world. Right. I want to settle uh, probably this, this tile or this tile. If I disembark here and there's a unit here, that could be bad. <laughs> that could be quite bad. Uh, let's have a look. Oh. Vietnam is here. How did we just discover Vietnam? Uh, that's confusing. This should be fine. It should be fine to disembark there. Um, will this warrior have a zone of control over this spearman to stop it? I'm not sure. So I'm just gonna hold. <laughs> hold. Hold, hold, hold. Just like everybody who who has bitcoin is doing right now hopefully um <laughs> uh elon musk okay oh devilish my friend with another super chat forget not the war stick my friend i hear the carthaginian carnivals are fantastic this time of year <laughs> do not <laughs> Oh, do not. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll build a military unit just for you. <laughs> oh, what a... What, I, I'm still scarred by that one city challenge. If you guys haven't seen it, have a look on the YouTube channel at my Brazil one city challenge. Just watch like the last half an hour of the second stream. It's quite good. Um... Yeah, it's going to take us ages to do that, so we may as well grab it. Yes! Alright, I believe there was... Uh, block a chock. Oh my god, he did. Block a chock still needs a city. And then, we're back to you again, I believe, Devilish, with the very generous $4.99 US super chat. Thank you so much. It actually really does mean the world. Um, particularly on what is a very cold and early Saturday morning. I can't believe it's still dark outside. What am I doing with my life? <laughs> um, oh my goodness, block of chalk. What do you want? Probably ancient walls. And I did promise you, devilish, that I would... A fantastic game start to finish yeah it was fun wasn't it um i promised that i would buy a unit and now you've just super chatted to remind me so we're going to invest immediately into our war stick let's grab an archer in block of chalk and keep this warrior nearby uh meanwhile i'm looking to extend the my realm of influence even further um, th 
that is that is very good should we yeet ourselves over this way that tile is incredible well it's good enough connect some salt which is apt um and we really want coastal tiles though so it, actually like as stupid as it might seem settling on that salt could be really beneficial as well let's yeet a let's yeet our next settler over that way though because this one is kind of already making moves um nah, actually no it's not too late you know, we move so fast in the ocean as maori anyway um you know like uh our, our embarked i think we have plus two movement Uh, yes, your delegation is absolutely most welcome. Come on in, friend. Should we do a marathon stream today? It's only 7.30 a.m. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Let's see how we go. I, I'm Your generosity has absolutely blown me away. I'm, I'm making note of all of this, by the way. Uh, I'm making note of everything, so thank you. Uh, five, two, and cool okay um she's gonna give me 16 gold and open borders no if we cast our eyes up the top you can see that militarily very weak yep very weak um pretty keen to invest in some walls and clear out this barb camp which is just going to be nothing but trouble probably and yeah let's let's keep you're all hooning over this way and either settle here or over here um we don't have iron but i probably won't settle there just for that Sweden have got a galley hooning around. We're not too concerned. Um, of course, our capital is so incredibly vulnerable uh, to attacks via the sea. Um, and I am well aware of it. I will build uh, some... I will prioritise walls for the city. <laughs> um, for now, just probably fortify until healed plink away at that hmm settling that is a bad tile like it's it's native yields aren't very good but it's in a really prime location just can't quite connect to rangitoto though which I would like to... Uh, I mean, it doesn't matter. It's not even a wonder. So <laughs> what, am I, what do I care? I think it's the, um, the, uh, the uh, you know, local attachment. Later, jerkwads. Trying to make sure that the algorithm notes the quality. <laughs> oh, thank you. I really appreciate it. You're the bomb. You're the bomb. Hmm. Um, I need, I need that guy to go away. So I'm just going to like pop back out of his sight for a turn uh, and hope that he gets bored and wanders off. <laughs> What sentence do you use to say goodbye to somebody? Interesting. I think it depends on, um, I'm going to chime in with what's going on. 100% adjacency, no, that's not useful. Um, I think it depends on the context. You're right, chat. But, uh, 
most importantly, who you're talking to. Not necessarily the context of the situation, although of course there are situations that are going to be more or less formal. Um, but it, it depends on who you're talking to, right? That specific part of the context matters. I would usually probably just say like, see ya. Probably most of, most often. See ya. See ya later. I say see ya all the time. Uh, wow! Aquaculture. How did I forget about that? Can construct the fishery improvement. Plus one food. Plus five housing. Plus one food if adjacent to a sea resource. Oh, we need Liang immediately as one of our governors. Um... Let's chuck Liang in Sebastian Whitney, who I said I would buy a builder for a long time ago. Sorry, friends. There you go. Got your builder. Um, this warrior is being an absolute nuisance, but I'm going to probably focus down the encampment first. I think we're ready to move our warrior in. Uh, did that slinger go away? Yeah, it did. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay, we'll just... This is dumb, isn't it? Let's go somewhere else. I'm gonna... I, I probably need to bring a proper military unit back down there to secure that. And we shouldn't waste... You know, like, I don't need to waste turns. Just like... Look, there's another unit. Get out of town. <laughs> Get absolutely out of town. Uh, Scientopia... There is some logic. Hmm. I do think it wants to be, um, I could build the Oracle. I, let's get another build up. I'm going to, I'm going to Sim City that one. <laughs> I'm gonna abs oh my god what is going on I'm gonna absolutely sim city that one uh it is a major defeat and it oh goodness okay next turn we kill it next turn we kill it uh let's connect that mercury ASAP should have had that done a long time ago hey look at this this is cool <laughs> what <laughs> this this would be good for Canada. Canada like that a lot. The largest city in the world? <laughs> you know it's a strange world when when this is the largest city in the world. There's only one house. One big house. Oh no, look, we, we got a couple of little other things going on now. That's fun. Who got a promotion? Oh, brilliant. What? Oh man, don't you hate that? Uh, ancient Wall's done. Yeah, we've got a lot of early text to catch up on. Um, what kind of madman would... Early rush... T I don't know. Um... Again, we're going to see big, we're just going to see insane harbours again and again and again. Um, plus four gold, just natively plus four gold. Give it to me. Like, just outstanding. Really, really outstanding. Um, major defeat. We'll just hold. Hold in place. Finally connect the Mercury for Sebastian Whitney, our newest channel member. All yours, friend. Take it, hold it, love it. Um, I could grab this goody hut. Do I want to spend a turn doing that? Probably not. Uh, I, I want to get around there as fast as I can. Oh, yikes. Oh. <laughs> okay. I see you. Grab that goody hut, though. That will hopefully be quite profitable for us. Maybe we can discover, like, a... 
uh, a tech or a great work would be ideal. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Barb camp gone. Finally. Block a chalk. You can live in mostly peace now. Um, let's just, again, reflect a little bit on the tech tree. What are our, what are our next big milestones? We want apprenticeship. Most definitely. Plop some farms down. The first time we've really even been able to build them. <laughs> okay, no, this is fine. We're just going to sail past. We're just going to taunt these guys on the way past. <laughs> as we sail along in our waka. A beautiful waka. We're under siege. Block of chalk is under siege. I think we lost our warrior. Oh, no, we didn't. It just looks like a barb warrior to me. We actually are very similar color scheme to the barbarians. Um, Scientopia, trade powerhouse, you reckon? Have a good day is a really nice sign off. I'm going to wait. Just going to hold off a little bit longer. Um, neural connect that. Our first land improvement. Let's grab a, a, a little granary while we're at it. Um, oh, you absolute. Chuck an envoy in with Mexico City. And yep, here we go. Just going to sail by. Don't mind me. Oh, oh, leave me alone. <sighs> this is impossible. This is impossible and infuriating in every way. If I go back here. One, two. Mm, I really do want to be here. <laughs> Let's just hold. Let's just hold. Uh, yeah, block of chalk is under siege, which is ludicrous. Nero will pop through there. Keep exploring. I suppose you think art is great when it ties a room together. Well. Um. Yes. <laughs> I guess I do. Mm. City range defense. Am, am I about to lose? <laughs> Uh, probably don't need that just now, but I, no, I'm just gonna leave it. It's all good. We've got a new governor, which we will appoint. Uh, let's grab Victor just in case. S-H-I-T hits the fan. Pop him in block a chalk, which is a fairly safe, um, position, I think. Let's work on Mexico City. Plink, 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 and just keep shoring up block of chalk as we go. Improve all those tiles. Brilliant, 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 brilliant. Right, Canberra is getting big. Are we keeping up? We are, but only just. Congratulations, Scientopia. You actually have an improved land tile. Con <laughs> Huge congrats. Look at these useless tiles. Uh, the culture, though. It's a lot of culture. Uh, I am really tempted to build a cultural district there, even though its adjacencies don't really work. I feel like we just need a theatre square. It's it's our thing. It is our thing. You can check temperatures on an island compared to... That's so cool. David, that's so cool. It's a fairly safe position, the only city that's been attacked. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're, you're not wrong. You are not wrong. Let's get another settler. We could even just settle down here. Shall we? 
We could colonize Blocker Chocks Island again. I don't see any reason, any particular reason why not. Let's connect all of these sea resources. We need all the sea. All the sea. Ooh, the Matterhorn. Someone has got that in their borders, don't they? Hello. Vietnam, I see you. <laughs> Block of chalk, briefly under siege, but now well protected. Uh, Great Admiral. I don't want that one. I'm going to rudely reject it. Uh, Block of chalk, it would be good to get your fundamentals improved. Um, so, let's do that. Let's plop a monument down. And let's also invest a little bit in you with some sweet, sweet cash money. I'm talking builders. Like there's no tomorrow. Yeah, I could see us maybe settling another one there. Maybe. Let's have a wee peek around the Vietnamese Empire, looking most interesting. I haven't actually quite decided what victory condition I'm going for yet, which is a, a bad mistake to make. An experienced Civ player should not be going in blind like this, but I kind of am. all the sea tiles look at that four food one production one gold one faith this one four food three gold lots of gold um which isn't like the most useful early game tile but uh resource but we're also getting a lot of food so i'm not going to complain absolutely not going to complain campus in scientopia an industrial zone in the second city to reach Scientopia. Yeah. We simp for our Kiwi boy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I, uh... I kind of like that. Let's have a look at our geographies. Hmm... Five, six, yeah. We industrial zone down there on that tile. Yeah. Sebastian could have an industrial zone right there. Um, we could... We sort of missed our harbour bonus, but not the end of the world. Uh, alright, Scientopia. Time to live up to your name, champ. Got a wee adjacency bonus. We're not mad about it. Let's do it. Uh, this island wasn't quite as large as I thought. I'm not mega keen. Abandoned ship. <laughs> Run away. It's not quite like that. Um... That iron would be nice. Lots of these resources would be nice. This is block of chalk. Quite a good city for us, I think. Um, oh, another settler. Okay. I really do want to be down there. <laughs> um, having said that, juicy wee island down this way too. And... Loyalty probably won't be a problem. Um, uh, settling here, we can get some clustering going. Let's do it. We'll do it anyway. It's I think it's good enough that we can probably settle there with relatively little penalties. Um, you are wildly overvaluing your open borders. Wildly overvaluing. My goodness. Yeah, it does reach. It does reach. You're right. It is. Uh, it just reaches. I'm 
probably move this off for a bit. Um, just because we probably have some slightly better yielding things. Uh, I mean, that being said, there's there's no super wonderful um, super wonderful improvements here. Just grab the uh, slight amenities boost, help our growth just a little bit. And seeing as we've just built a campus, we may as well education. Oh, and then cartography has been boosted for us. Plus two gold from the fishing boat improvement. Feels good, man. Feels real good. Plus two movements from barked units. I'm just sort of like scanning quickly ahead. Industrialization is going to be a goer for us, of course. Receive tourism on all improvements that provide culture. Powerful. Very powerful along the top of that tech tree for us. Very exciting, actually. Um... <sighs> In terms of the civics tree, we also want to push for... I believe it was Divine Right was my next jump. Not going to be able to build two temples. Mainly just looking for the monarchy government. Uh, instantly creates a quadrine plus 20% production towards units of the naval ranged promotion class. <sighs> Strange wording, isn't it? Um, do I want a free quadrine? I think I do. jump you up there and yeah I, I like the idea of having a little bit of a cluster here so I'm just gonna blindly direct <laughs> the settler um just deciding between there and there let's have a look one two three we can connect to mostly all the same stuff this one reaches an extra whales We'll do it. We'll go there. And we're just literally just going to retire this just so we can get another military unit and actually have a boat near Scientopia. <laughs> Which is, uh, I will admit, not particularly well defended and we're not going to have a repeat of last time devilish, I promise. Uh, so if you capture the Vietnamese city of Mai Tho, it is necessary by law to have it renamed Mai Tho. We don't have it right. Hello, Habi. You have very few <laughs> Stop it, Australia. Don't you taunt me. Don't you taunt me. Me and Vietnam are roughly the same in strength. He's not that much more. He's what? He's probably got like one extra warrior. He thinks he's God's gift. What was I doing with this? Probably let's just move it to Sebastian Whitney to keep it central within the empire. Um, get the faster movement for that scout. Sure, I'll make a bit of money off my pearls. Don't see why not. We don't need to change our policies off the back of that, that's for sure. Yikes. Um, okay, so we want to grab an industrial zone there. Sorry, farm. You're out of luck. <laughs> Unlucky. And... Bam, Mexico City, we are the suzerain. All the suzerain. God, what a miserable, what a miserable little island that is. Okay, this is looking good. Um, this settler has been waiting here for such a long time. It's just going to be too dangerous. We're going to need to establish, like, maybe somewhere crappy like here. Sort of bridge that gap. Like, it's not the end of the world. I'm also kind of not mad at settling there, but um, we'll consider that down the line. <laughs> at this point, we we just need to get a, 
I would like to get maybe three more cities down. Um, certainly before turn 100. Yeah. Obviously we get the library and let's, um, let's actually spend a bit of this sweet, sweet moolah. Let's get trader. Just checking where I need builders and stuff. Probably blocker chalk still. Um, blocker chalk could use. A watermill too, I think. Yeah, I like that a lot. Oh, there's literally a warrior everywhere I go on this freaking island, bro. Oh, I forgot that was a, um, useless tiles. Which, we'll just, we're just gonna do it, I think. We're just, oh, backed ourselves into a corner. We're just gonna do it. Whenever I play a coupe, I'm cursed. <laughs> Sorry to hear that, Amal. How you doing, my guy? A uh, bit under the weather today. Bit under the weather. Apologies if I sound a little bit more nasally than normal. Got a bit of a cold. But otherwise doing good. It's only just gone 8 o'clock in the morning uh, as I'm speaking to you right now. So, also a very early start for a weekend. Anyway. Um, block of chalk. I mean, the world's your freaking oyster. Look at all this. Um... Thinking ahead, we're probably going to have a cluster of districts around here. There's going to be a good industrial zone there. Uh, probably pro maybe a harbour there, industrial zone there. That would suggest that that would be a pretty good spot as well. So we're probably going to have a cluster of districts along this sort of, in this sort of area. Um... For the time being, I can see a pretty good spot for a campus here. I'm tempted to build it. Also acknowledging I don't have a faith district anywhere. Which is a bit odd. Um, but let's go hard on science. <laughs> Get another campus down. And you can pop inside of that city and hold. Uh... Having some housing issues. Sebastian Whitney needs more housing. How dire is it? Yeah, it is getting a bit dire. Amenities as well. Um, gonna need improving pretty soon. Should we take the money? I think we take the money, don't we? Give me the money. <laughs> Guys, I don't know what I'm doing with this poor settler. Oh, I know what I'm doing with this one. Great. Uh, who is next? I think we may have gone through all of our super chatters. Although Devilish did go twice, so... Fairness is fairness. Uh-oh. I think our scout might be about to bite the... Bite that freaking bullet. Uh, Universidad, absolutely. What a cool university that would be to study at, by the way. <laughs> Imagine, you're born in Scientopia, <laughs> in this weird canal city. And you, have to, you have to go over to this, like, exclusive island where they mine stone and study. <laughs> There's a joke there, definitely. Alright, anyway. Kaiapoi! Woohoo! Uh... And gold. <laughs> All right, uh, Sebastian, you you were very generous in both joining the channel and I believe also super chatting. So that doesn't title you to two goes. <laughs> I'm gonna call it. 
is P Y M D is P Y M D G O L D. Spent gold. That way I will never forget to <gasps> wait for it. <laughs> Spend some gold. Um, and we're gonna do it immediately. I'm gonna buy a builder because lots of fruitful tiles here to improve. Yes. Um, I'm kind of worried about amenities. Maybe we can get some good trades. Um, no one particularly likes me. Hey, you want a delegation? I respectfully decline your delegation. A mood. A big mood. Let's make a deal. You've got nothing. What about you? You want to make a deal? You've got nothing as well. Why does the AI never have anything to trade? Honestly. Ridiculous. See ya, friend. This warrior's just like, nah, I'm just gonna sit here and never let you settle, eh? Probably just gonna never let you settle. If that barb camp is empty, I could sneak. Oh, hello, Swift Talk Mapuche. Uh, one of the sieves that was buffed a lot in the last patch, by the way. A lot, a lot. Um... Really good early game aggressive sieve. Where are they? Where are ya? Um, let's see. Yeah, what do we got? We got Vietnam, Mexico City, Sydney. Good to know that that's there. Okay, whoops, that's fine. I love scrolling around down there on the map, by the way. It looks so like, um, it looks like you've got a hat. You know, you just, you just go down here and click, and you can be like, and just speed around the map. It's so good. Um, okay, let's see. Please? Please. No, he's still there. We might have to just, like, settle somewhere not on fresh water and aqueduct to it later. It, like, it's not the end of the world, right? Settle there, aqueduct. I think we'll just do it. Because we need to get these cities down. Ooh. I see another, I see, I was going to say another religion, but I didn't even bother to get one. Even though our pantheon was so good. Hey there, unknown. Yeah, probably, um, Block Talk is right. Probably chat is the best way. Chat here is the best way. Um, I'm responsive to the chat and I'm always responsive to video comments as well. Uh, the only maybe small caveat is if a video happens to blow up. Did you guys see, by the way, a video, like four videos ago, I posted this video and it just randomly exploded. It got like 6,000 views and I have no idea why. Ah, uh, shoot. Don't, no one look. We'll get this goodie hut instead. <laughs> Much reward. Mapuche is willing to buy. Oh, I've already got Mercury. Useless, useless, useless. I'll allow it. We'll take the seven gold. Making pretty good profits, by the way. Um, we should have survived because the warrior wouldn't have been able to enter the forests, is my hope. Blizz? Say it, say it is so. Uh, we'll get there. I think I have to prioritize Lighthouse first every time because it's just so good. Um, why did I embark this warrior? I'm not sure, but let's just do some exploring with it. Oh, brilliant! Māori completes the first world circumnavigation. We have officially discovered... Well, actually, we haven't quite. Pfft, might need to fact check that. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Imagine we just lose a religious, um, oh, look at this as well. We're going to have to just throw the city down. <laughs> Whanganui becomes the first settlement on Pangaea Ultima. Uh, and I don't believe anyone is due a city name, so, uh. So, uh, next super chatter or person to join the channel you can have Whanganui, which I think is going to be quite a good city. Uh, what's my favourite Civ without the New Frontier Pass? Probably Civ 5 still. Uh, that being said, Civ 5, 
the base game of Civ V is nowhere near as good as the full version. So I think it's difficult to compare um, uh, the full version of Civ V to the base version of Civ VI, if you know what I mean. Like, that's that's not a particularly fair comparison, except for dollars-wise, because they do cost roughly the same. Um, so I, I would still recommend a player gets, and I still prefer to play, the full version of Civ V, i.e. Civ V with its expansion passes, rather than uh, the base game of Civ VI. Civ VI with Gathering Storm? Harder comparison to make. Uh, plus one housing per level of walls, plus two diplomatic favor. It's a shame to lose the plus one yield from our palace, but the extra policies just, just blow it out of the water. Getting this new government is massive, particularly with these wild cards. Um, I may as well chuck this in and spend some of my faith. And then we have another military policy, which is not fantastic for us. Um, we don't really make great use of them at the moment because we don't have any particularly good ones um so I'll, I'll just leave that i think as it is uh mm, th that is actually quite useful for me at the moment as well housing we're more sure on though so let's let's sort of focus in on housing uh Plus two production to encampment districts. Not going to happen. Boom. Eureka! Oh, sorry. When you say Civ, do you mean, like, leader? Yeah. It's, it, it, sorry. It's a really common point of confusion. Um, I stand by the best civs in my uh best civs video i do stand by them i am to be honest a little murky on which civs were part of the base game and which aren't um like i often have to check that be just because i have all of the i'm like fortunate enough to have all of the dlc um i did always buy it on special though just so you know uh most definitely um Internal trade route, not particularly useful. We'll pump that one. I'm happy with that. Get a road. Uh, let's just send... Let's just quickly pat this dog. Love it. And then let's send the scout off to the world. And I've just noticed the sun has come up. <laughs> Whoa! Um, so, let's take a very quick... Uh, break. We've been uh, going at it for one hour and 45 minutes. Let's take a quick two minute break. I'll check through the super chats when I get back and just make sure I've got everybody covered. And I'm um, going to go get myself a cup of coffee. And I will see you guys in exactly no more than hopefully three minutes. So catch you soon. Uh, please don't go anywhere. Stick around. Stay tuned. And I will leave you uh, looking at and studying our beautiful a beautiful empire. See you shortly.
Alrighty ho. All right, I am back. How did I do? Was I more than three minutes? Probably. Sorry. Um, okay, I'll just quickly take a look at the the chat. As expected, lots of calls for coup. Uh, what do we got? Um, what did I miss? Coo 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 coo. We need a coffee cup emoji. Ah, brilliant idea! Absolutely brilliant idea. Coffee coo ASMR. Yes, yes, we need that. Um, I think um. Uh, let me just check. Um, yeah, so I think, uh, let's see. One, it looks like one more channel member, two more channel members in YouTube will let me actually add more emojis. They it, YouTube like caps it. It's like, if you have five members, you can have three emojis. If you have seven members, you can have four. It's like, kind of like that. Um, but as soon as I get capacity to add another one i think we should make it a cup uh what did you miss richard oh boy uh well uh this is my very first game as marty playing as the, the marty empire which i'm very excited about uh being a new zealander it's the first time that new zealand has been in civ in civ 6 so that's pretty cool uh so yep first time first time playing them absolute very first game no yep very first game no duplicates. Very first. Um, got our meme capital here. It's looking pretty good. It was a bit of a meme, but um, it is what it is. We've got no co no culture districts, and we were winning the culture game for ages, so that's kind of funny. Um, and yeah, we've just sort of spammed out. We've got one, two, three, four, five. Hopefully six cities would be good. Maybe seven. I don't know. We'll see how we go. Uh, gonna need to focus in on the war stick. Also, we're having some amenities issues. And there was a fire. Scientopia is the world's first large city. 1 AD. Can you believe it? Uh, so it's no wonder that it's struggling with amenities because its, it's population is absolutely burgeoning. Uh, the Ottomans are in the game as well. Uh, I mean, sure, it's an honor to meet you. Absolutely fine. Fine, 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 fine. Um, let's get another farm down around spent gold. Oh, which reminds me. <laughs> it, it's working. Which reminds me I have gold to spend. Um, Oh my goodness, she's so, so salty about our glorious age again. Look at this. We did it again. Back to back golden ages, which is so strong. And also a whole lot of new uh, military policies. Um, what have we got? Oh yeah, I need to spend that faith. Please, I need to spend faith and gold. I'm going to do it right after this. Uh, yields gained from pillaging and coastal raids. Not useful. Uh, harbour districts and their buildings. That's better. Yep. Okay, let's spend some faith and gold. Um, what? What, 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 what? How, how have I misunderstood that? What have I misunderstood there? Um, newly trained... Did I, did I just totally misread that? <laughs> I, think I must have. Sorry. I think I just totally made up the fact that I could spend my faith on uh, civilian units somehow. It's a bit odd, isn't it? Um, Harbour adjacency bonus is really strong, though. So we can at least find some solace in that. Uh, and we'll pump in there um sure let's have a look around my goodness 
Gee, we like we like our settlers here, don't we? <laughs> hey? Wallstick, you can't be a pirate without ships. Good call. Good call. I hear you. Uh, yeah, your delegation is welcome. Let's get some boats. Oh my goodness, it's the World Congress? Um, uh, I mean, I don't particularly care about either of these proposals. But I'm not mad at um, an extra great scientist. I really don't care about the grievances, but I guess we'll just give us less. Sure, let's do it. See what happens. Oh! The cheek of it. No points towards great admirals. They yeeted into that. And I will generate more grievances, and other players generate more grievances. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, time to get some boats. Time to get some boats. Um, Sebastian Whitney. Let's use our 400 gold. To acknowledge the power of the war stick and get a caravel. Very flash. Woohoo! We are going up in the world. Let's also make sure that our um, technologies are aligning properly. Get a frigate in seven turns. Uh, but more aptly, we should focus up on getting some better walls because it's boosted. Uh, it does take us to printing, which is great as well. Yeah, let's grab it. <laughs> and this meme city is now just totally screwed over. Um, more caravels. Whitney with the workshop. Whitney's workshop. Um... Yeah, well, that was a fun wee trip. We do know what happens. Um, yeah, we do, we do know what happens when I neglect the war stick. What victory am I going for? I was saying earlier, um... I've actually gone into this without a plan, which is never a good idea, Civ players. Don't do it. Do not. Do not go in without your victory condition plan. But I have. Um, mainly because this is the first time I've played uh, Coupe, and I I mean, I understand the Civ. Like, I understand it's probably, you probably want, like, culture and, and religion. But um, haven't thought about it. What do you guys think? I'm thinking science or we could we could still swing a culture play as well um so i'm thinking maybe science or culture probably not domination um i don't feel like going around and taking one two three four five six. i don't feel like going around and taking seven capitals but we'll see it, it really does depend a bit on how the game plays out but as always i am incredibly open and ready for your feedback so um so do let me know, uh, which victory type do you guys think I should go for? Oh, a block of chalk has a lot of building to do. Really a heck of a lot. Um, start with the fundamentals. Big fan of starting with the fundamentals. Always. Uh, let's grab the plus one science in the capital for every library. It's like, a, just like a free plus two science, may as well. Mm, could keep going on that. Hmm, yeah, we'll, we'll think about it. We'll think about that. Um, right, back over here, and we have now basically circumnavigated the globe. We've, we've pretty much figured out, hey, it's round. That's cool. 
I am concerned. What on earth is going on here? We need to investigate this a bit more. Your first one was a Diplo victory. That's cool. People's first win is not often a Diplo victory. Um, my first win was a religious victory with Peter the Great. I'll never forget it. It was the most unbalanced game I've ever played in my life. The game first came out. Oh man, I wish I'd recorded it. It was incredible. I, I, I really want to try and repeat it one day. I haven't played with Peter since because it was so overpowered. I won so fast. I couldn't believe it. Um, and I haven't completed a game with Peter since. Um... I'm hearing lots of calls for science in the chat. Lots of people wanting me to go science. Māori science victory. Odd. Quite odd. Whoa, look at that harbour adjacency bonus. Look at this card paying off now as well. Commercial hub and harbour districts. Gold provides science. Campus district gold. Equal to their science. Very powerful card. Um... Kind of keen on that nine gold, but I think I'll value the science a bit more if, if we're going to push our scientific game. Feudalism, the only thing available. Bit odd. Um, go to three, that will buff universities for us. And there we have it. We have officially discovered that the world is a circle properly now. Um... Right, what was happening down here? Why Why was the city... Who was she attacked by? I don't understand. There's no evidence of it. Left. Thoughts on declaring a cheeky war on somebody with some caravels? <laughs> we shouldn't. Your two deity wins were religion and diplomacy? Ships in space. <laughs> space ships. You're not wrong. <laughs> You're not wrong. Um, what's this guy doing? Oh yeah, we're just sending him off. Just go. Just go. Be free. Hey look, there's some cocoa. I posted a poll on the community about whether people liked chocolate or not. I, I was so curious. I wonder what... I'll have to check that after the stream. Um, I love that com the community tab on YouTube, by the way. So underrated. Um, and under undervalued. I love it. It's so fun to make polls and, like, see what people think and feel about Civ stuff, but also just about random stuff. Um, and they get great engagement. Like, people really love, um, people seem to engage with them a lot. It's really cool for me. It's just wicked. The community tab on the YouTube channel page, which all, com all, um, YouTube partners have great access to anyway, um, is is really slept on i think i am uh i am neglecting i am neglecting this aren't i let's grab machinery and printing yeah we, we i don't have crossbows yet i want crossbows uh, block of chalk, just so much stuff to do in this city. Let's just buy a library. Um, we're gonna want another district. I think we sh a theatre district is our thing. I want to build a theatre district somewhere. Um, and I didn't see block, I saw block of chalk being more of an industrial powerhouse. Uh... So maybe we do our th culture stuff down here. In which case... I mean, a harbour is always a good idea for us. Almost always. Um, it probably benefits mostly from being around this way. I know there's a plus two there, but... I think in the long run, this is a better place. So I'm going to plop a arbor down... Um, and we may as well purchase a granary for spend gold, which has, again, very aptly reminded me to spend my gold. I'm just going to ignore these religious units. Just not even interested. We lost the religion game. We're just going to ignore holy sites. Going to ignore the whole lot. Um, 
and we'll acknowledge the importance of war stick and make sure that we have walls in all of these cities at the very least the very least we want walls uh, have we nose around here the world is is filling up Did, never found out what actually went on here maybe a conflict with the vatican who knows who knows um also how is Fanganui doing poor unnamed Fanganui. <laughs> First of six when was Egypt as religion? That's fun. Uh, biggest boofer. Uh, just DNA. University of Singapore is, uh, is possible. Sebastian, I always miss out on it. Yeah. Um, yeah. First one was diplomatic. Joey said, yeah, it probably, yep. Yeah, just got flooded. Uh, the city had river and flood damage. Thank you. Thank you. That makes a lot more sense than a random war. Unluggy. <laughs> yep, good call. Good call, everybody. Uh, Richard Kingston, why do they make so many DLCs? Uh, yeah, it's, it, it is mainly for the money. And and to keep the title fresh as well. I think um, I think one of the real strengths that I undervalued, undervalued just a little bit in my review of the new Frontier Pass, um, which I might revisit uh because i have a lot more thoughts on it now um was oh whoops was the value of keeping the game and the community alive it's hard to put a dollar value on it um obviously they're out to make money right that's their goal Th this is their business this is their job um they rely on sales so of course they're going to want both the game to continue to be popular but also to have new products to sell because there is demand for them um, but putting that aside, I, I do believe that the way that the New Frontier Pass staggered content release, uh, was a slightly undervalued by me because it helped to keep the game and the community fresh and alive and active. Um, I of course wasn't active on YouTube for basically the whole New Frontier Pass, so I'm not speaking from like, I'm not speaking about personal gains or, or anything like that, I just mean purely from a community standpoint. Um, finally, we've got the tour. Mahara unique classical era unit. Jason enemies minus five combat strength, and it can build the par. So let's, let's grab one and maybe build a couple of par down here. Um, oh, look, we can get our first, our first pirate action. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Kawamo did not stand a chance against our Caravel. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. We can sail around and smash that out too. Uh, Whanganui is about to get its walls. Oh, Joey, a man after my own heart. Uh, I do love white chocolate, but I, I, I uh, yep, yeah, always dark. Always dark for me. Always dark chalk. Thank you so much to everybody who's liked the video, by the way. We're about to cross over 25 likes, which is fantastic. Uh, newly trained builders, game plus two. I am in the mood for buying builders. I'm going to quickly, very quickly, drop that in there. It's going to plummet some housing, but we'll swap it soon. Yeah, I, I do think we want guilds, actually. Just reading through that. Sorry. <laughs> I was thinking very hard. Um, Whanganui could really use a military unit before anything else. I don't want to wait a million turns for one, though. Um, so I'm just going to grab the monument, and we, we might have to buy one. I do want builders, though. Uh, probably block a chalk would be useful for you to have a builder. So let's chuck you one down. We'll keep exploring. 
Uh, Scientopia, yeah, really struggling with amenities. This city has no real way to get any. <laughs> um, unless we establish... If we established a tundra outpost, we could share we could build an amenities district and share it with Scientopia. There is actually some logic in that. Boofer, a Hershey's kind of guy. Fair. White chocolate's way too sweet. Yeah. It, it, oh no! Flooding! It's a good thing in the long run. We'll take it. It's just a moderate flood. Poor, poor blocker jock. Just got your builder. <laughs> Just got your builder. Uh, oh well. White chocolate pretzels absolutely slap. The biggest slapper. Um. Yeah, let's do it. Let's let's do it. What could possibly go wrong? Mm, this is rain bonus is garbage. Um, hey, that's cool. The regional effects is the industrial zone, water park, and entertainment. Oh, yeah, we need the water park. That's absolutely what we need. Yeah, really desperately need the water park, don't we? So who did I just pump that into? Yeah, the right place. Another suzerain picked up. Thank you kindly. Oh, gotta make sure keep that posture. Keep that back straight. Oh, more ships to destroy. We just roll through them. We're just going to roll through all of them. We're going to destroy the entire barbarian army. This is good. This is good. I like having powerful caravels sailing about. Run. Oh my goodness. Look at all these warriors. <laughs> Settle down, Istanbul. Jeez. Oh, here he goes. He's like, mad about my governance. <laughs> um, how are we doing? Seeing a lot of military strength in Scythia. Wow, they just threw everything they had at this caravel, and it just tanked like four attacks. Did anybody see that? That was incredible. This thing is a god. My goodness. Who's that? Oh, get out. Repair those. Luckily, it doesn't use a builder charge, which is, like, actually kind of weird, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, Fang Anui needs housing. Oh, and quickly, can we grab a military unit? You bet yeah we can. Let's grab a heavy chariot, because we're going to try and run as fast as we can. Um... Who needs ship support? Neural. Oh, look at this. Seeing movement here, and that is scaring me a little bit. Eighty-year-old man posture. I feel you. Um, I feel you, Jake. Uh, is just me. Do you flood the world to weaken other civs? Yeah, you, you, you do. Yeah, you do. And it kind of sucks. We finally got our unique unit. Uh, friendship with Mapuche in Arabia? Yeah. Unsure uh, about how that's happened. But keen to actually strengthen these relationships because I don't want particularly Mapuche to, you know, wail off at me and go absolutely bonkers um i'm more worried about this military strength here which is currently 514 
Uh, in terms of other metrics, we're doing well on science, weak on culture, uh, good for gold. Everything else is fine. So I'm not, not too concerned. Let's pump frigates out. That's going to be really funny. Uh, and then Sebastian Whitney. Uh, might be time for you to get a district. What was our... Do we have a plan here? Not particularly. Um, not particularly. Except for this tile, which was a really important industrial zone. Um... Yeah, en encampment's not a terrible idea. Campus is fine. Uh, none of these are outstanding. None of them are particularly outstanding. Um, and, and really, really rubbish adjacency bonuses down here. But we can, you know, we can sort of start to build some up, right? Um, we're not going to be able to get two adjacent districts, though. It's not. Go it's actually not going to be very good. <laughs> I just default to another campus. <laughs> I think I do. Just a crappy desert campus. Um, oh, friend, what a bad auto explore that was. <laughs> you know, get over there and improve that iron. Yeah, you're 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 in a bit of trouble. Uh, let's show our show our absolute naval strength by bringing our caravel down. <laughs> Um, it'd be another huge victory for us here if we want to take it. We do. Plonk. Just insta-killing these crappy barbs, eh? Just instantly doing them. Um, might be time for the scout to return home and be upgraded to something beautiful and new. Make your way back, friend. Fang and Uyotara can strike again. Nero, and let's get, let's tidy this mess up. This is silly. This has gone on long enough. We could actually um, probably put another city down there too. Looking at that. Definitely scope to expand there. Um, block a chalk. What do you want next? Yes, a big industrial district there. We can make it huge. Improve that tile as well. Or even just put another one, like put their industrial zone here. Improve that tile. You can see you can see this being a very productive hub. Um, oh, we got lucky and got away. Brilliant. Look at all these catapults. Look at this. Finally cleared that barbarian outpost. My goodness. Um, let's bring the caravel back. Just keep our fleet on guard. Just in case. Because her military strength has dropped, though. So, you know, maybe she had something levied. That's unusual that it would drop like... It dropped quite a lot. Unknown. On my first playthrough, I had Montezuma as my ally. He was at war with Japan, like the Great Ally I am. I liberated one of the Aztec stolen cities, and now I'm a warmonger. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I know. The injustice, right? The absolute injustice of it all. Hey, that's a nice little tile there, isn't it? Good one.
Oh, and it's already invalid. <laughs> I just want to build one tour. Come on. Oh, I'm an idiot. Do I want a builder here? I'm going to need one soon, but not quite yet. Yeah, we'll just ignore that. <laughs> Whanganui is ready for its builder, I believe. How are we doing on trade routes? We've got one extra capacity. Not huge. Not huge. What's she up to? Hey, what are you doing? I'm just cruising around with my caravel. She's like, in her galleys, she's like, what is that amazing technology? Damn aqueduct industrial zone in Whanganui, you reckon? I think that's a really good call, Joey. I think that's a really good call. Commercial hub adjacency bonuses is likely to be good for us in the long term, but not particularly useful now. I'll keep the newly trained builders policy in just for a little bit longer. Um... Our next milestone is probably exploration. Uh, that would shift our policies slightly. Yeah, and then we could just move on up. We've already boosted urbanization. That would be a big win for us. Yeah, definitely an aqueduct, right? That's pretty... Pretty beneficial for us. Let's connect to that fresh water. Um, we can get another governor, which we probably should. Probably going to want... Um, oh, we do want to promote Liang to get aquaculture, though. So let's promote her. Um, can construct the fishery improvement. Plus one food. Yeah, I think we really want that. Let's get it. Congratulations, Liang. You did it big. Now, where is she? At the moment, she's in Sebastian Whitney. Okay. We will get you... A, we will use that builder of yours. Put it to great use. Arabic is really nice. I want to learn it. That would be really cool. That would be really cool. Oh, look at this. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Maybe she got bored. Decided not to strike. Very, very potentially. Oh. Here's a fleet. Isn't it? Interesting. Very, 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 very interesting. Uh, I mean, I guess we don't really need the fort. <laughs> Just stay there. And do you, friend. Um, ocean tiles are insane. And culture bombs the surrounding ones. So good. So good. Pretty keen to get another city down around here somewhere as well. Maybe, oh uh, no, bling and... Hong Kong. <laughs> no, no, refuse. How long do I think it'll be until Civ 7? That's a really interesting... Do you mind if I throw that question back at you in the chat? I have an answer already. Like, I, I have an idea. I have no other knowledge, but I have an idea. But I, I want to know what you guys think first. What do you guys think? When will Civ 7 come out? When? I want a month and a year.
Bruh, Australia gave me 20 horses, some gold, and joined my war against Indonesia, all for one doubloon. <laughs> Those silly Australians. They don't know a good deal if it slapped them in the face. Um, just kidding, Australia. Um, I'm not kidding. Right, spend gold. Arbor? Oh, woof. Woof, woof, woof. I love these harbors so much. They're so good. Uh, we, oh, we, we actually really want a builder here as well. Let's grab that. Make, take advantage of that policy while we still have it. Um, and I think we'll return this warrior home. I'm concerned about this military presence a wee bit, so we're just going to consolidate our forces um, just outside of spend gold. <laughs> and let's keep improving Fanga Nui. Uh, I see, uh, for, I see uh, next year, April. 2077 once Simba. That's a great guess. <laughs> it's a great guess. Uh, not not quite what I would have guessed. 2022 June. Yeah. Yeah, I could see that. I could see 2022 June. She wants iron. Nope. <laughs> Just no. Um, 2023. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, look at this. Hello. Um, banking is boosted let's take advantage of that may as well get our extra trade route seen as it's literally doing nothing um and yes i like your suggestion about sending the tour to that barb that stupid barb camp i mean there are a lot of there's still a couple around aren't there um it may not quite be strong enough is my only concern do I want any of these people? We lost that one, so we'll grab that back. Um, I think we're going to see... The year is 3000, George R. R. Martin's finished Game of Thrones, and we finally have gotten Civ 7. Um, my prediction, and it's not a particularly well-calculated or thought-out one, just, just FYI... Um, my position is, oh, there's Mapuche, uh, that we will see Civilization 7 in October next year. I think it'll be announced, uh, or at least hinted at late this year, uh, or at some stage this year. And then I think we will see Civ 7 late next year that's my ambitious guess i should add by the way like i think that's sort of like i'm a bit hopeful um not 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 a total dreamer but uh that's a hopeful guess uh, uh you know yeah if that makes sense um yeah we do need to clear that barb don't we come on to up on your bike because i actually really like the idea of um a crappy satellite colony just to make use of this land to sort of feed Scientopia a bit, uh, if that makes any sense. But we'll see how we go. Also, um, I like the idea of settling down here as well. So we'll just we'll cruise around. We'll have a wee nose, see what tiles are here. It looks like it's a lot of crappy tundra, actually. Maybe we sail back down here. Some nice rainforest tiles and stuff, uh, which we don't have. I'm talking at a million miles an hour because I just took the most largest sip of coffee uh, that you could possibly imagine. <laughs>
yeah, I, I reckon, um, I reckon late next year. Hope a hopeful guess. I would love it if Blocker Chalk would expand to those turtles. That I really want though to connect those turtles. Why is it doing that? I'm just gonna grab them. Um, because of the adjacency bonus, uh, the the like land grab. Just yeah, we we want that tile improved. I think. Um, Sebastian, my dude, let's get you a library, a well overdue library. My goodness. Um. Yeah, she's spread out quite a bit. Let's re Oh, yeah, look, look, look at the promised land. That island is the promised land. Um, right, back to Whanganui with you. And boom, look at that. That The culture bomb is so underrated, by the way. Um, it culture bombs the tiles next to the improvement. So we just get them all. Boom, insta, insta improve. It's so good. I cannot stress it enough. It is so good. Where are you going? Up there? I don't care about that, I don't think. Right, let's have a nose. Uh, yeah, there is fresh water and salt. Mm, pretty crappy tiles. <sighs> Couple of whales, though. Salt, salt. We can settle on that salt. It would be a really poor city, but... Maybe the next one. <laughs> Do you ever play on random? Um, no, I don't usually because I'm playing a Civ for a reason. Like, um, I'm playing it to, for like a video or, or, uh, you know, uh, usually there's some sort of theming to it or I'm doing research or I'm testing something. So I don't often play random, but I think it's a really fun idea. I like it a lot. Okay, well, looks like, um, looks like crises averted. We'll still keep an eye on her, though. We'll keep an eye on her, but I think we're all good. Let's continue to grab all of these really high-value tiles. <laughs> Look at that. I don't want a bar of that. Get me over here. Near this freaking flood. And watch this, another culture bomb and adjacency bonus improvement here, probably. Boom. Look at that tile. I know I've said it a lot, but wow. Four food, two production, three gold, and a science for good measure. Ten iron for four gold. No. But I see some chocolate, and I am a fan of chocolate. So, chocolate. So, let's grab that. And what do you want? Some pearls? Sure. It's worth it for the chocolate. How is Scientopia doing? Minus one amenities, about to cap out on housing. What we'll see is it just won't grow anymore, which is a shame, but... It was to be expected when we settled this city. Like, we did sort of know what we were getting ourselves in for, right? <laughs> I think we did. Um, let's give it some medieval walls. Make it as, as defensible as possible. Um, and Sebastian Whitney, pretty keen on you having a universidad. Uh, oh, and we want to play around with a builder here too, I think. Because of Liang. Yes, go, Tor. Destroy the encampment. Good call in the chat, by the way. Good call. Um, That is an incredibly profitable trade route. We're making 
We're making sweet buck off Scythia, by the way. Slightly concerned at these ships. I'm just going to monitor them. Mm, got builders going free, almost. I guess I'll send this one back to block at shock. You know, a couple of improvement. A couple of, um, quite a few tiles to improve, actually. How are you? One, two, three. So we can grab those whales. We can also get that. Man, alive. This city. Something else. Uh, I'm going to put a district there. I do want to improve those horses, though. Rats. Next turn, perhaps. Um, right. I think we're good. Brilliant. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So we're about to get a sixth city, which is good. Um, we should probably be slightly further along, but it's all good. Fisheries in Scientopia? Yeah. Yeah. We, uh, should probably swap these governors, shouldn't I? Uh, duplicates of... Uh, chosen Luxury grant amenities. Chosen Luxury resource grants no amenities. Uh, and then... I mean, let's just condemn, like, one of these religions. Um, and then let's say... Turtles? Turtles. Hard on the turtles. Hopefully that goes through. That'd be really good for us. Nope. Chosen luxury grants, no amenities at Mercury. They just hate Mercury. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, she was like, no turtles. Ridiculous. Plus 10 strength for Islam. Okay, so we just absolutely lost that, which we expected. We're not playing a Diplo game. Uh, plus one gold from City State Envoys. That's a slick plus 20 gold for us. Uh, whenever we want to take it. But I'm actually not... I sort of prefer to earn them a bit faster at the moment. Um, the 100% Harbour District bonuses is really good too. Again, though, I think I'll just keep what I've got for now. Grab Astronomy. And our mighty Tor will destroy this barbarian encampment. Which is good for us because our era score is not particularly great. Oh, she's so good, isn't she? She's so good. What about you? Plus 100% great people points. And then we can bounce into space program. Uh... I mean, the, to be honest, the plus one culture, like, that's a good culture boost for us. A really good culture boost here. You know, like, that's an extra 17. I think we most certainly need to capitalize. Oh, I can't help but wonder if there's a, a better promised land down here. I'm gonna... Oh! <laughs> oh, I hope you didn't see me. Oh, Okay. Goodness gracious, we've got six charges on this builder. Right, let's get these fisheries improvements up and running, and then Liang will bounce over there and we'll do the same. Very strong for us. Very, 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 very strong. We need to improve, uh, fix that as well. Got lots of things to do. Um, I really just want to get those done as well. Connect up some horses. I believe our first horses. <laughs> Ma we're playing as Māori, so we don't need them, but it is kind of odd. Is Saladin any good? Not really. Not terrible, but, you know, you'll be playing an average game. One fun game to play that I'd really like to try is Mapuche. Early game Mapuche. He basically has tanks. His unique unit is basically tanks. Um, disguised as, like, a caravelli looking thing. Uh, a, uh, trebuchet-y looking thing. Um, 
so yeah, uh, yeah, that that would be a fun game. I thought about playing that today, but I wanted to play as Coupe because I've never played as Coupe, and I really should. It's New Zealand and Civ. Uh, plus eight science, you betcha. And we'll just stay away from the promised land. Um, where is this city gonna go? Doesn't have fresh water unless it want. Yeah, it's just not gonna get fresh water. Um, it's going to have no way to connect to fresh water. Is that an issue? I don't think so. We'll plop it there, and hopefully bounce some amenities about. There is spice. There are spices there. Oh, look at this improvement. Stop. The food. The food. <laughs> oh, it's happy days, my friends. Really happy days. Um, am I missing any really obvious tiles here? There's going to be two C tiles up Blocker Chalkway, so we might just run up there. Next to spices, so I can settle a third. Yeah, I mean, not a bad shout. Not a bad shout. Let's do it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. keep the option open right we don't have to use it but let's keep it open uh block of chalk is in need of some more housing some farms wouldn't hurt really would they as a quick stop gap uh congratulations scout you made it all the way to, to skirmisher and we're very proud of you another plus four food <laughs> these sea tiles are absurd this is amazing Uh, plus three, plus three. It's good. It's not great. Right? Not really the best. Uh, am I going to be training any more builders, though? Probably not. So we may as well, um, throw in something else. I'm... Gonna choose the harbour adjacency bonus. Because that's going to stack like crazy. Mark these words. Whanganui. Purchase a builder just as I swap that policy off. Noob move. Hmm. Uh, so we don't care about that. Uh, we get fish and cocoa, fish, stone, turtles, spices. None of them are very... Jeez, these... Wow. Let's get into NASCAR. Look at this. Um, we can build the unique tile improvement, which is a faithy one. Granted, probably not entirely useful, but... Um, we may find some use for it, but look at their, um, resources. We'll get crabs, sheep, olives, and turtles. Three of those are really good for us. Three of those are really good for us, so we'll do that. And whammo, here we have it. Any super chatters that I've missed? Nope. All right. You shall be Ruatoria forever. <gasps> or until someone decides they want that city. More, more, more. 
more. I must improve every dial. Right, you can get out of there. You've done just about enough for one day. Repair that one. All the gold in the world. Let's get a lumber mill down there too while we're at it. Brilliant stuff. What about Hojo True Start? Yeah, that, that Hojo True Start could be really fun. I, I've been wanting to play a True Start Asia uh, or Southeast Asia game for a long time. Because you've got like Vietnam and Cambodia, uh, potentially Russia. <laughs> this room is flooded again. Um, you know, like lots of lots of really interesting civs to play around there. Oh, and look at this. We've entered the Renaissance era. And we've hit a Dark Age, which actually isn't the end of the world. Um, in, in this mode, it is a little more crippling, uh, I admit. But we get some cool policies out of it. And, you know, we, we can deal with going through a little Dark Age. It's not the end of the world. Um, you can see we get these Dark Age policies, uh, which are really... <laughs> really interesting ones, right? So cities with six or less pop receive extra loyalty, but cities with more receive less gold. So I get loyalty, but I lose gold. That's so fascinating, right? Plus 100% combat experience, but lose gold. Start an inquisition, lose science. 50% production of capital, but all governors are new neutralized and cannot be reestablished. See, that's terrible. Domestic trade provides lots, but you can't train or buy settlers. Very interesting stuff. Um... But for now, let's take this one, which gives us plus 23 gold. Thank you kindly. Whanganui. Yeah, we, we will get you a farm, I think. I think that's a good idea. And keep on improving these tiles. Look at that. Look how dark the whole game has gotten after this dark age, by the way. The whole game is so sad. Oh my goodness, and that Dark Age caused us to lose the city instantly. Oh, that's such a yikes. We'll claim it back, like it's not it's not the end of the world. But we do need to make sure that our next stage is not a Dark Age, because in this mode, with the with the ages um, modified the way that they are, uh, even though you get access to some potentially really useful uh, like policies and benefits, it is still, as you can tell, a bit tough. A bit tough. Uh, but, you know, we'll, we'll work through this. We've, we, we've dealt with greater challenges than this before. <laughs> what do you think of clans? Um, it's a really fun mode. Yeah, I like it. I, I have re actually not really played it that much, though, so I'm not the best person to ask. Yeah, excuse me. Goodness gracious. Yeah, give me all the error score. I want it that way. Um, mass production's really good for us. Mm, in terms of ticks, let's um, fishing boat receive plus one production. You betcha. You freaking betcha. <laughs> uh, and we got a great scientist. Chosen campus gains two housing and one amenity. Increased non-food yield benefits of happiness in your empire by 40%. Really good. Really, really, really good. Really good. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad. That's insane. Um, got a bit of trade route capacity. May, uh, no, we don't actually. We've got one to do still. Uh, let's get another caravel. We might as well. And what have we got here? Sebastian Whitney. Uh, oh, Phyrexis Games just liked my tweet about the live stream. Thank you, Phyrexis Games. I love you. And your games are forestically fantastic. Um...
there's so much I want to do with this city and so little time to do it. <laughs> I want all of these things. I want all the things. Um... I am still a little worried about war stick, though. I am concerned. Uh, plus one housing from walls is, is really good for us. Plus 10% gold and 50% uh, it, it's a It's a toss-up. Um, I'm concerned about losing the housing, so I'm going to stay as is. Mainly because we're in this dark age right now. Times are tough. Uh, they are tough. So, we'll hold true. Um, just checking... Have I exhausted... No, not quite. Look, we've still got some really powerful governor uh, tile improvements to make use of. And then we'll swap those, those governors over and do exactly the same thing to our beautiful capital city. The beautiful capital that is Scientopia, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I know, and I was actually just about to end the stream as well. But I will, um, I'll, I'll carry on for a bit longer. Firaxis games have motivated me. A like of a tweet. Twitter. Uh, Twitter. Okay. Um, how are we looking? We're looking all right. This uh, dark age has hurt our yields quite a lot. We've lost quite a bit of science um, and culture from from losing that key policy. So we will try quite hard to earn that back. Um, we really need an entertainment district as well. Like, we really do need one. Um, but I, at the same time, I'm really keen to try and maximise yields. You know, like, an industrial district here is is quite good. Um, it's, I mean, it's only a plus two. Like, it's not... It's You wouldn't write home about it. You wouldn't be like, hey, mum, check out this industrial district. But um, it is pretty good. I'm trying to think, where could we cluster one? Nowhere, really can't reach anything else but at least two of them would be sharing it so that's something or we just hold out until water parks we just ride the storm hold out until water parks it's hard to say yes 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 lots of yields there um we can upgrade our tour to a man of arms i'm not like super mad about it but we'll, we, we may as well wait right like there's no super urgency so, we'll hold. Hold in place. Look at this. Scientopia really needs this as well. We're currently minus one amenities and almost at our housing cap. So, producing this will... Producing this is just fantastic. How do you like that, Scientopia? Well, you will like it. <laughs> um, that's very cheap I'm about to get spices uh, oh no actually I'm not <laughs> yep let's do it give me the spices <laughs> um, I mean I'm not using them so you could take them but I don't like the idea of giving them to you either so I'm going to keep my horses uh, yeah, sure. You can trade with me. She is no longer angry with me. Because I'm not um because uh because I'm not in a golden age, I think. Sith Sithia's is weird like that. Um thinking ahead Industrialization would be wonderful. Yep. I want industry. <laughs> Uh, what do we got? Eh, we'll pass on the Admiral. We don't really need an Admiral right now. But we, we do sort of like the idea of being pirates, though. So, yeah. Um, I could really use a governance district here to help with this loyalty. Let's plop one down next to this mountain. 
And what would you like to do, little builder? Well, you were going to improve those, but I saw how that worked out. <sighs> um, so now I'm going to have to blink and buy this tile just to make sure that I get it. Do, do, do. And all of these tiles, so much food in Sebastian. This city is blimmin' fantastic. Uh, what have we got now? Great Engineer. Grants some production towards a wonder. Doubled if the wonder is old. <sighs> we can do better. I think we can do better. Send a delegation to Scythia. Thank you, Joey. Absolutely. Let's improve that relationship. How do you like that? Hey? <laughs> she loves it. She absolutely loves it. I can't believe we still don't have a theatre district. Ridiculous. We just totally ignored what Marty, what the Marty Sif does best. <laughs> amazing. Um, absolutely amazing. Oh, got to get out there and improve those whales. That's going to be a big culture bomb again for us. Uh, all right, friends, take a very quick break and then I'll be back for what will probably be the last sort of maybe 20 minutes or so. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you in two minutes. Don't go anywhere. Wow, okay. There's more people in the stream than when I left. <laughs> ah, um, I come from America to Ku. Ku yeah. Through Ku surely, surely the coffee emoji is called a Koofy cup. Right? It's a Koofy cup. It's kind of a lame pun, sorry. Jeez, the barbs have got caravels now. I'm no longer romp stomping them. Right, oh, ooh, yikes. Upgrade to a knight and fend off the free city. <laughs> ridiculous. How did that, it's because of the, it's because of the ridiculous, um, Dark Ages penalties. 
like you'll see our stats suffering a bit like we've we're, we're second on science to australia which is just heartbreaking but um it, like i say that'll bounce back once we improve the ages uh and i th really think we do need to get on top of our amenities don't we in a big way um i'm wondering if one of our friends has anything they'd like to share what about you saladin you want to make a deal Again, just everyone, the turtles are insane. Um, what about you, Australia? Oops, I did not mean to declare friendship. Mm, not a lot to trade, huh? All good. All good. Onwards and upwards. Um, oh. Yeah, you can be friends. Uh, sure. Everyone can be my friend. Um, they're less worried about me now. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Colonial office would have been nice uh, a while ago. throw it in now anyway uh a little bit late to the party i know but not the end of the world i don't think koofy <laughs> yeah the koofy cup uh people won't get it but we will we'll get it the ogs will get it um yeah look we just need to get on top of these amenities it <laughs> Building one here is not ideal though, is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Even with the governor, it doesn't reach. Uh, it could reach. No, it doesn't. It's just awful. The reach is absolutely awful. Um, so just get a shipyard. <laughs> just keep producing. Just push through this. Come on, people. Okay. Um... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's a kick in the guts. Looks like these two are sharing it, so it doesn't really matter where it goes. There, one, two, three, four, five, six. That will reach. Um, probably there is just better, though. Sorry, farm. Make way for an amusement park. <laughs> See ya. Uh, yeah, suzerain, suzerain, suzerain. And we'll grab you, which will connect a whole load of luxuries to us and maybe save the day here. Uh, this warrior... Oh, this is our OG warrior. How about that? Wicked. Take down this free city and claim back what's rightfully mine as well while I'm at it. How about that? Neural... Send one unit over to investigate. Oh man, so many people tuning in live. Thank you so much to everybody uh, tuning in. And to everybody who's liked the video as well. You guys rock. You guys rock. Not quite as much as the Super Chatters, but you guys do rock. Everyone rocks. You're all the best. Uh, Culture Bomb. Bam, Whanganui, very pleased with connecting those whales, I would say. Uh, yeah, I think the coup thing was from the six hour Venice stream, wasn't it? Uh, it was the, uh, it was the 1000 subscriber celebration live stream and I had to go for a break because I was only planning on streaming for like an hour, but it just blew up because people were like super chatting and donating. It, it, there was just this insane like hype around 1000 subs. Um, and I had to go for a break and I, I don't know who started it, but someone was like, let's coo. I think we were talking about cooing and overthrowing and stuff. And, um, someone was like, coo him while he's gone. And now it's just a, 
and now it's just a running joke within the channel that whenever I go for a break, there's going to be a coup and the coup's going to overthrow me for whatever wild, crazy, stupid reason the coup, the coup comes up with on that day. <laughs> Japan has no land. Yeah, yeah, very small, very similar, very similar to New Zealand. Uh, a very thin island nation, particularly in the Civ maps, of course. We see that uh, accentuated. I love a leader who is surrounded by an impressive military. I mean, am I? <laughs> I just upgrade a couple of units and all of a sudden I'm, I'm God. Hello, we're here. And yes, yes, um, yes, Joey, Caravel is on the way. Uh, sure, we'll, we'll open diplomatic ties with the Australians. Stranger things have happened. Uh, and you can most certainly have an embassy. Yep, big friends. Friendship all round. It's happy days. Uh, the Māori Empire makes history by reaching the industrial era. Yeah, baby. All day. All day industrial era, baby. Um, in terms of text, what is our what is our next step is what my mind moves to now. What do I want next? That's probably a little far future. Um, quite keen on... I love those mountain tunnels. Um, hmm. I suppose we are ultimately working towards rocketry. As I scan through these bonuses, I'm not quite sure how we're going to pick them up. Um, I can definitely build two shipyards and boost that, so we don't need to focus in on that too much. Uh, I do want some of the Vortex, but again, I'm willing to sort of not prioritize them immediately. Let's grab Scientific Theory. That's just going to be a good one for us regardless, and let's get another shipyard. Um, I actually have a ludicrous amount of money as well. Money, money, money. Uh, this city needs a builder. And we're going to buy it its shipyard as well. Just absolute big spender. Get it factory too. We need to transfer Liang out of there sometime very soon. Um, also, I don't have visibility. I don't even know what's over here. Come on, man. <laughs> sort it out. <laughs> Uh, it'll be a stalemate against this free city. We can take it. We probably don't even need our caravel here. But we'll sail it over anyway. Um, should I romp in again? Yeah, why not? We're taking it back, friends. It will be ours. Seeing in the chat some calls for chemistry and research labs, which I can get behind. Absolutely get behind. Um, ah, they've spawned a crossbowman. Kind of annoying, not the end of the world. I'm really tempted to go with the audience chamber. I know it provides negative loyalty in cities without governors, but the plus two amenities and plus four housing um, could be really good for me. Really, really good for me. Um, but we'll think about, we'll think on that uh, because we just have insane harbors all the time. So let's get an insane harbor. <laughs> um, and...
I'm going to keep promoting the educator uh, because I do want to get towards space initiative probably. Um, okay, tile improvements. We're nearly done with Yaliang. Nearly. We've just got another crabs to connect. And let's go for a wee explore. Some absolutely dreadful snowy islands up there. Caravel comes in swinging. And now, the Australian's like, your army sucks. And I'm still stronger than him. It's big talk, Australia. Big talk. This river has flooded again. It just doesn't stop. Block a chock. Look how much damage that did to you. <laughs> you recruit this for the privateer. And that bonus is a really nice to have too. Let's be real. Um... Get another campus down. Plus four adjacency bonus. Give it to me. This is going to be pretty frustrating, isn't it? going to take too much damage so i'm just going to fortify again um hello hello privateer yes a maori privateer has entered the arena brilliant stuff blocker chock started the coup thing around one hour and 30 minute into the venice stream i'm hearing back from my live correspondent biggest boofer who has checked the replay uh, of the 1,000 subscriber celebration stream. Which, by the way, guys, the channel is growing well since then. It's hard to compare, right? Because there are channels that get, like, thousands and thousands and thousands and tens of thousands of millions of subscribers every day. But the channel's grown a lot since then, so thank you so much for all of the likes and comments and really kind words. And, of course, to everybody who's a channel member and a super chat donor, you're giving up your earned dollars for me, a moron. Uh, I really appreciate that a great deal. So thank you. Uh, anyway, back to Biggest Boofer. Uh, Blocker Chalk apparently said, let's stage a coup and the rest is history. I'm not sure why this pop-up confused me so much. <laughs> All it is is we reach 20 pop. Cool. Right, this will be our last... I think our last... Improvement with Liang. So let's um, jump into... We're going to lose some science and culture by moving Pangala out of Scientopia. Um, but it's temporary and I think it will be really worthwhile... Although, do we really need extra food in Scientopia is another question. Uh, obtain gold from naval victories or plus 50 gold from coastal raids. Probably the naval victories is going to be more useful for us. Um, do I want to suicide this caravel? Absolutely not. I'm going to promote it instead. Eh, we'll just stay fortified there i think that's all good um would be nice to have another military unit really wouldn't it we're we are a bit struggling a little bit there Let's just keep hooning around. Oh, look at this. Oh, there's a beautiful spot just above Blocker Chalk. Let's pump a settler up there. <laughs> Why not? Um, yeah, lol, merch when you should make t-shirts of it. <laughs> I think that's a long way off, friends. I think that's a long way off. 
Uh, I'd love one for myself, though. <laughs> like, I actually would. Um... Nah, I'm pretty happy with where that's at. Get the arena. Tempted to... How much? Uh, we'll just build it. It's fine. We'll build, yeah, an arena. Um, oh, yes, and we need to swap our governors, don't we? So, uh, the government. Uh, not the government. The governors. Um, so, we want to reassign Liang into Scientopia. And then assign him probably to Sebastian Whitney again, I think. I think that's the best move. Um, although it doesn't actually... Actually... Oof, probably want it in block a chalk. Because there's actually a campus here, at least. Uh, block a chalk's got old mate. We could do a full swap over. Yeah, okay. Let's put you in block of shock. And then let's assign old mate Victor over to Whanganui. Just so that we have some extra loyalty on that island. And we'll sail our privateer over as well, just to really, really hammer this home. Um, yeah, good point about sieging the city. I'm surprised it wasn't sieging there, under siege there though, but now it is officially under siege. Thank you, Joey. You've been incredibly helpful by the way uh cool so this builder can make its way over here there's going to be a lot of a lot of tile improvements you should be fortifying there Yo, that's really juicy, eh? Look at this island. Milk. Cotton. What more could you ask for? The barbarians have set sail in a major way. Goodness. Um, so we wanted... Research labs. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'd love robotics right now, but... Beggars can't be choosers. Um, so there's our research lab. Have two alliances. It's going to be tough, but we could try it. Um, neighborhoods. Musketmen. Banks. Neighborhoods. Crossbowmen. Stop. crossbowman ridiculous um yeah neighborhoods musketmen alliances yo let's be friends yes should we have an economic alliance oh okay well um well, I know where to put that then, don't I? Right up. How about you, Aussie? Not a fan? Take my delegation. Take a delegation anyway. We'll, we'll grease, we'll, you know, we'll work on them. We'll work on them. What about you? You must earn my trust first. Fine. I see you. I raise you. We'll just, we'll pop some delegations out into the world. Anyway. Um... And just, just grease the wheels a bit, yeah? We'll grease the wheels. Um, is there a resource that has not been improved? I don't think so. One, two, three. We can connect those. Uh, we are waiting for Liang to be established. We're gonna need another builder here. We'll, we'll, but we'll probably, um, produce one rather than buy one. Um, put our money to better use somewhere else, I reckon, hey? Um, 
Could you leave me alone, barbarians? Please? <laughs> Trying to take back my own city here? <laughs> and we'll spoil... Oh, man, we're going to connect a whole load of niter up here as well. Brilliant stuff. Absolutely brilliant. Um, this poor, poor man-at-arms is just taking such a beating. I think we'll just heal up a little bit. Um, maybe could consider buying another unit here. Um, I'm not desperate for it though. Donk off that, but no. Keen to hold the siege. Keep it under siege. Uh, explore this island a wee bit more. There's a free kill. Thank you kindly. No problem, Medina. Thank me later. <laughs> We got asked uh, during your... Oh, yeah, the humankind stream that went down. Rip. Um, there isn't actually a great story behind my profile picture. Um, I created it years ago. I have... Have and still still do have. Had, have, and still do have. Sorry. Uh, pretty poor, like, photo skills. Photo editing skills. Image, image editing skills. <laughs> All that stuff. I suck. Um, oh, sorry, I got distracted. Um, so anyway, anyway, I found this website. It's like, lets you basically like power puff eyes, <laughs> power puff eyes yourself. <laughs> um, oh, uh, and so I did that and then sort of edited it a, just a little bit to turn it into more of a profile picture-y looking picture. Um, and the rest is history, basically. That's, that, that's kind of it. Sorry, it's not very exciting. Not a very exciting story, but that is it. Um, I always wanted to have like a slightly more sort of, like a more unique, um, image. But whenever I talk to people about it, whenever it comes up and people like you, Biggest Boofer, ask about it in the chat, um, people always say nice things. They seem to like it. You guys seem to like it. So, um, so I'll keep it. I'll keep it. One day, though, I would like to have, even if it didn't change much, I just like, I don't know, someone like, I say someone, I say someone because it can't be me, right? Because I'm not good at it. But it would be nice if it felt a bit more civilization-y, if that makes sense. Like, maybe it has a hex behind it, like the like the district hexes. I, I don't know. I don't know quite what it would need done. But I'd like to make it look just slightly less power puffy and slightly more strategy, sort of civ, civ -y, that kind of feel to it. We just picked up furs as well, which is fantastic, because there's some amenities for us. Uh, Jason Envy says, give me a t-shirt. <laughs> if this channel reaches 10,000 subscribers, I'll give you a t-shirt. Come back to me then. I will give you a t-shirt. For free. Um... I don't think we really care too much. We're always building harbors. So a harbor bonus would be nice, but I don't really mind. Um, lots of people want discounted military units. They probably want it through faith. I kind of want it through gold, but I don't actually want it that bad. I don't really care, to be honest. So I'm just going to just just literally chuck a point and save up my diplomatic favor. Uh, campus buildings are easier to build and gold purchasing. Cool. Pretty happy with that outcome. Thanks to the team. <laughs> um, oh my goodness. Get a builder in here right now. Um, and I mean, the shipyard is so good. As is the workshop though. So let's build one of those. Uh, in terms of Sousa rainy, rainy, rainy rains, I don't have a huge plan. Um, science is always good. 
let's get Fez under our zone of influence. Uh, what happened to the city near the Māori borders? Why it become free? Uh, loyalty, I believe. We What happened was, we plun- I have a, a mode uh, enabled that changes how Golden Ages and Dark Ages work. And basically it makes them a lot more extreme. And so what happened was we moved into a Dark Age uh, because the, era, the game's era changed. And um, the penalty was huge, basically. <laughs> penalty was massive. Uh, it impacts loyalty quite a lot. So why is this not under siege? Is it because that is there? Um, yeah, it impacts loyalty a lot. So kind of lost, lost out a bit there. Uh, and we lost this, it just flipped instantly. We just lost the loyalty of it. It became incredibly disloyal. Look at these cheap units with our gold now, by the way. We should absolutely cash in on this. Um, let's grab another privateer. Get that wonderful electricity advancement. Um, really liking getting next to that fresh water there. Crappy to be next to Tundra, though, isn't it? Uh, and we kind of have to think as well, uh, it would be nice to connect Niter. So actually, I've immediately changed my mind. I might pursue there instead. Uh, although, of course, we also really value sea tiles. So an argument could be made that actually there would be the best spot. Let's investigate it further. Um, I'll bring this caravel around to help us scope it out. Oh, there is more knighted that way. Yep, bring your embassy in, friend. We're, we're looking for another ally. We've got one free, like, got like a friend, friend, uh, pending. Whoa. <laughs> can we get a, can we get a Krakatoa in the chat? Rangitoto erupts in an absolute ball of fire. Um, need a trader, build a trader, makes sense. Get the work, uh, the builders out and ready because as soon as Liang is established, big things are going to happen here. Um, you just skip your turn. Need to improve all these tiles. Strike, 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 strike. <laughs> this poor man at arms. No. Isn't this brilliant? Like, just how... How good. Let's buy another privateer. Really bullish on these privateers. Uh, it's a stalemate that we're not really interested in. Um, okay. I really heavily lean toward this side, not just because of the loyalty. So I'm going to do a bit of a backtrack. It's all good. We've got time. I'm very keen to see what that tile is. If that's Tundra, it looks like it is. Not the end of the world. Um, but also not ideal to have a Maori city inland on Tundra. Uh, I'll probably shoot for the coast. Such a shame that that tile doesn't count as fresh water with the river flowing into it. For access, if you're listening, which you're not, but if you are, please, <laughs> please make that count as fresh water. Uh, another builder, because Liang is established. Hello, Liang. Welcome to sweet, sweet Liang freedom, ladies and gentlemen. Krakatoa. <laughs> Reminds me of Sokato from Algebra. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. The throwback. Sokatoa. <laughs> Sin cos tan. I always quite liked that. Um, we have not built a single wonder, and we could, but we're not going to still, probably. Uh, Whanganui is a really good city, but it doesn't have, um... It sort of struggles a little bit.
New cities receive a free builder and production towards settlers. Uh, I Again, I really like the audience chamber, but I don't think we should do it. Um, which means we either want the Warlord's Throne, which will give us another governor title and that production bonus, or the Ancestral Hall, which will provide new cities with a free builder. I think we'll go with that. We'll get one free builder out of it, maybe. Um, oh, yep, look, Liang is in, and you can see already I can start improving these tiles. So now, thanks to Giant's Causeway, this tile is four food, two culture, one production, one gold. That's pretty good for an ocean tile. <laughs> like, that's very good. Boom. That one's six food. Hello. God, we've got so much food. It's insane. Rangitoto is still rolling. I'm kind of tempted to take Hong Kong. What do we think? It's such a... It would be so easy to take. And then this would be a fantastic little island. Uh, but I shouldn't. We're not, we're not playing a warmongery game. Um, Sebastian Whitney needs amenities and a couple of dudes need housing. Alright, Ruator, Ruatoria, let's kill you, question mark? Yeah, looks like it. Not kill you, restore you. Oh no! <laughs> Don't do me like this. <laughs> Unluggy. Um, how's Bokotok doing? Does need housing. So let's use this builder to improve and build some farms, which will just get us some cheap housing. Uh, this scout is going to be... is going to continue to be a real pain in my backside. Um... Let's just have a wee think. So, hmm. uh, being close to blocker chalk would be nice, but it's going to be hard to get those bonuses anyway. Um. Kind of makes me wonder why am I settling this at all. I guess it's to connect NITER. And if NITER is the goal, I'm actually not mad at settling on top of that cotton. The plantation improvements are never particularly good anyway. Let's think about it. It's not warmongering. It's just forced integration. I know the Giant's Causeway fisheries, right? Right, Joey? Um... I really don't know how I feel about that. Okay. Oh my god, look at these. Plus eight, plus eight, plus eight, plus eight. I'm gonna say that's probably better than that. <laughs> Just a straight up bonus there. I mean, my goodness. Incredible. What's this plus 16 gold? Mm, tempting. Tempting. Colonial tax is also tempting. But we'll stick with what we've got for now. Um, these military policies are kind of outdated. In fact, they're very outdated, but we'll, we'll keep them. We'll see what happens. Um... Yeah, sure. Diplomatic service. Let's do it. Let's be the best diplomats we can. Sebastian Whitney has grown incredibly because of these insane ocean tiles. Sadly, it can't keep up with amenities nor housing. Um, it really cannot keep up. So let's give it the world's worst entertainment district of all time. <laughs> and 
Um, make sure that we have as many suzerains as we can. Uh, crabs, wheat, cocoa. That's an easy suzerain and a nice bonus. Gain culture equal to 10% of construction costs when finishing buildings. Sure. Like, why not, right? Let's grab it. Um, yep, and these insane yields continue. Literally insane. Uh, right, time to take back what is absolutely rightfully ours for king for the kingdom brilliant uh yeah i think we'll keep it yep gonna keep that one um <laughs> gonna keep it indeed Okay, and just like that, we're good. Now, if we go down to lenses and select loyalty, we can see that we'll be at full loyalty in three turns, which is good. We've got, we're, we're feeling comfortable with our loyalty, I think. I don't think there's anywhere where we're struggling. Uh, because we're, because we've got these islands between us, we didn't try and aggressively forward settle anybody. Yeah, that's looking good. Um, any other ones we want to check? The continent one is quite interesting. Euro America. <laughs> Euro America. A shame that this is all Euro America. Feels, uh, feels bad. But these ones are on a different continent. Oh, I see an opportunity. <laughs> Shall we investigate this opportunity a little further? Sail the privateers down. Have we nose? Um, keep improving block jock. I'm doing it. Taumutu has been established. I did that one turn too early. We missed out on the free builder. Feels bad, man. Feels real bad. Mm. I'll make it up to you. I'll buy you one. Um, He's like, you're a bad governor. I'm like, well, yeah, I am. Yep, fair. Can't fault you on that. Another trader. Block a chalk. Let's get you a factory. And keep building some farms. Yeah, we're, we're plus one amenities and we're doing okay for housing. Um, we've got so many tiles. Th this, this city is going to be ridiculous. I have to make a civ guide on this because this is insane. the yields um hey hong kong could you use some help i can help you <laughs> i have a proper military not really well we kind of do we have a wee navy uh that i mean sure it's not the best but it's also not the worst right we're, we're doing good oh hey jake barge welcome back alliance with arabia or vietnam Let's try it. Oh, first things first. We've completed our civilization's first campus with a starting adjacency bonus of three or higher. Woohoo! <laughs> we just don't have any land to build anything. Um, <laughs> give me that tile. 
We just we I think we still just need more builders there though, don't we? We just need more builders. Um. Meanwhile, here we've got so much to build. Surprised we don't. We didn't build that campus earlier too, actually. Um, pretty keen to just pump out lots of gold through these trade routes. Yeah, the one science. I'll swap a gold for a science any day, though. Eh, actually, let's go to Cairo. All roads lead to Cairo. Oh, yes, we were doing that alliance. Um, friends? Yay, we've been taken off a revenge list. Um... What should we do? Let's be research buddies. Yes. Is our second alliance taken care of? Brilliant stuff. Um, oh, wow. I did not see that tile behind Block of Chalk City name. <laughs> um, yeah, good call, Joey. Right, let's just absolutely pound out these resources. <laughs> You're all connect that cotton up as soon as I can as well. Um, the fleet is engaging in some wonderful naval combat. Although we may just nip back here. Hide behind this one. Do a bit of plinking. We'll bring the third one over. Let's consolidate the fleet. Uh, yes, you can have an embassy. Of course you can. Yeah, we took some hits. We expected it. Um, new policies inbound. Spy production... Huh. Oh, yikes. We want to make sure that we get a golden age as well. Uh, oh, our boosted enlightenment is really good for us. Um, that being said, I'm a huge fan of a lot of these sieves. Water park as well. Uh, so we need an archaeological museum. Um, yeah, we need an archaeological museum. Forms an armada out of a military unit. I'll take it. Whanganuiatara. Grants the ability to buy land units with faith. Is actually useful for us because we don't have anything to do with our faith at the moment. Oh, Tyler Fru. Long time no see, you madman. With the super chat. Sorry, I was just bringing up the tab. Thank you, Tyler Fru. Always good to see you. Let's give you a city. What's the best one? Obviously, this one. No. Um, let's name Whanganui after you. I think that's only fair. This city is going places. Political capital. Tyler... If I should do that, um, actually, in general, uh, unless people feel really strongly about it, probably shorten shorten those names like that. Um, right, let's get another governor. Thank you, Tyler. By the way, super appreciate you turning up. 
at a time where I'm feeling kind of low energy in the stream. We've been going for quite a while. How are our likes doing, by the way? Have they... They've probably teetered off, have they? Let me check. Ah, yeah, we're doing good. 25. That's pretty good. Nice work, everybody. Um... Plus two housing for every neighborhood and aqueduct in the city. Not useful. Uh, not useful, not useful, not particularly useful. Um, mm, plus 20% growth in your city. Yeah, I mean, yes and no. Um, these are all fine. I'm going to appoint... Rainer because of her harbour master that we'll probably work our way up to. Um, where would she be most beneficial at the moment? Probably in Sebastian, I would say. Very good. Right, let's keep <laughs> proving these ludicrous yields. Oh yeah, and this great admiral is ready to turn something into a fleet. Um... So, if I can connect a bit more nighter, I could try and get a frigate fleet. Maybe I should just get the privateer fleet, though, because I can get that now. Yeah, let's let's do that, actually. Let's not daydream about a future, a future where things are possible. <laughs> um, right. We'll grab the privateer, and then we will instantly use this guy. Boom. How about that? The immense power of the world's first armada. It's ready to take the season 1520. Brilliant. More improvements. More, more, more. I will have more. Get blocker chock up to a good size. Feed up that chonker. Uh, plink. And plink. Two quick kills. Nice work, team. Uh, the Australians would like four nighter. It's a hard no from me, friend. Absolute hard no. Everyone wants Raymond. Everyone, Raymond. Everyone wants my nighter. And what do we know? It's a 1,000 year flood. Again. Jeez, look at the damage. It almost killed the city. <laughs> insane um this city literally has nothing to do so it might as well produce things for the rest of the empire or we could do some projects provides gold every turn and great emerald points science every turn sure let's do it let's do a project um while we seek to rapidly improve all of the tiles um Sebastian w we're just going to fill this up with districts, I think. We're just going to fill up this crappy land with districts. So, uh, we don't yet have a theatre square. This one gets plus three because of that nice district adjacency bonus, so it's a good spot for it. Let's get cultured, people. <laughs> Culture is now. Uh, Universidad, very important. And this mega fleet is ready to... Maybe we take Hong Kong. We talked about it earlier. And there wasn't a huge amount of bloodthirstiness in the chat. Um, but I think... I think Joey... I think it was Joey was supportive. So... <laughs> so long as someone supports me. Uh, it will probably anger... It'll, it'll definitely anger everyone else, of course. Which is a bit of a yikes. Um, speaking of yikes, we don't want to lose these ships, so let's bring this one in to bat instead, just in case uh, you can be promoted. So we'll move it one shy of its max and then promote it. Um, coastal raids? Yeah, let's do some coastal raids on Hong Kong, shall we? Take it. Richard Kingston says, take it. Oh, I'm so sick of improving these tiles. <laughs> I 
this city, honestly, if it wasn't such a good city. <laughs> Although the yields on these tiles are uh, improving immensely. Uh, gain 500 science for each natural wonder tile here or adjacent. I mean... We have a natural wonder right on our doorstep, so we might as well, I figure. Let's pump out some more research grants. Your, your recruitment of great people we coveted is becoming a real problem. Get out of here, nerd. Huge science boost that's about to come out of this, by the way. Boom. And we've just crossed the golden age threshold as well. How about that? Oh, talk about skinnier teeth. Jeepers. There's one. Get a mine down at Taumutu. Why not? Uh, the man at arms, we do need musketmen, um, but we need a lot more nighter before we can get them. Let's hold. You'll heal you up, and may as well heal you up as well. Get ready to strike Hong Kong. We've got our privateers coming in, um, and then we can take it with a caravel. It'll be a real easy steal. Real easy steal, I would say. Um, it's city defense is, uh, nothing to be laughed at either though. Um, but you know, worst comes to worst, we can just coastal raid the absolute living love out of it. Rip them, do them. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a bit of bloodthirstiness in the chat. Um, we finally got a theater district. Um... I think I'm willing to lose that diplomatic policy now and maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe swap it for... The more envoys is, is, is a nice to have. We really don't need a whole lot else, do we? We could actually just leave it, to be honest. It's not terrible. Um, even these wild cards are pretty good. I was just thinking it might be nice to grab rationalism. Um, like, what do I value more? Do I value 17 gold or 7 science? Probably 7 science. Uh, but that being said, this is 9 science. Let's throw it in. Let's boost our science up. As we move forward into a golden age as well, we're just going to see those benefits roll through even faster still. Uh, I do want natural history, but I'm keen to try and get some Eurekas if we can. Urbanization is a is a, is a goodie though. Uh, seven districts and declare war using a casus belli. You belli. We are their suzerain. I hate attacking one of my own. <laughs> we'll think about it. Probably the benefits of having them outweigh the suzerain benefits, I guess, is what I have to remind myself, right? Let's finally get a marae. Finally. Unique Māori building, plus one culture and faith to all of the city's tiles with a passable feature or natural wonder. Sadly, not a goer. Would have been wonderful here. Um... Hmm. Come to think of it, it would be really good there. Mr. Krabs, I have an idea. Yeah, 
you flick it to the Vatican? Hey, Vatican, how do you like me now? Um, another farm down for block. Can't go wrong. And another tile with a wonderful fishing improvement. Oh, everything is good. Everything is good. We're fishing up so much food, it's insane. Like, the, the people of Scientopia are so full all the time. Our people take pride in the Marae, which reflects our values and priorities. Yeah, it does. And we were a bit late to the party, but we've done it. Pump out a bit more science and Scientopia. Makes sense. Um... We are yet to build a commercial hub anywhere. Also yet to build an encampment anywhere. Uh, and a holy site as well. <laughs> One, two, three. It's a real shame we can't quite nab those tiles. Poor design by the map, really. <laughs> Like, plus one? Really? Uh, eh, Let's get an archaeological museum instead and, and ponder what to do next. Uh, we were overtaken in Fez, so we'll throw some more at it. Oh, of course, I haven't actually unlocked the ability to form armadas yet. I was trying to form an armada, because I already have the other one from the great person. Um, but I, I can't do it. I don't have the, I don't have mercantilism or, or what have you. So I can't form great armadas. I forget we're still actually relatively early in the game. Um, cool, so the Renaissance era is ending in three turns, which will catapult us into a golden age which is really 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 good for us um we have one sweet sweet spot here for a district i have a feeling yeah industrial district was always going to be the best one to put there um but look at that plus five gold from a commercial hub there i mean the yields are absurd and we do need a commercial hub so let's let's establish one on top of that farm um meanwhile probably need a granary up here we need to get some food going um borders are still growing I want to remove the stone. <laughs> I would love to remove that stone. Like, I want to do something else with this tile. Is that possible? Does anyone in chat know, by the way? This is um something I'm not... I, I've never come across this before. Um, so I'm not familiar with it. Here's my question. Uh, so I have this tile here. It's Grassland Hills. It's got stone on it. I want to put a district there. Can I? Question mark? I put that to you, chat. Please help. My tired brain cannot figure this out. This is a five-hour stream, trying to beat the record. I don't think it will be. I don't think it will be. I, I do intend to wrap up soon, but um, we'll, we'll just we'll see what happens. But I do intend to wrap up shortly. Oh, yes. Oh, total brain freeze. Māori can't remove resources because of kaitiakitanga. Yep. Well, thank you, Joey. My lifesaver again. My absolute hero. 
<sighs> unlucky. Unlucky. Um, I would also love to for, for the borders to naturally expand that way, which I know is six tiles away, so it's not going to happen, but um, it would have been nice. <laughs> would have been so nice. Oh, a 10 nighter for six gold. Absolutely not. Sweet. We have replaceable parts and machinery. Everything's looking good for us. Um, let's put a frigate. I love... The frigate is probably one of my favorite units in the game. Let's repair our walls and blocker chalk as well. A bit of a oversight. Um, what is our plan here? We're going to need extra amenities at some point we also want campuses as far as the eye can see preferably um the plus two there is quite good i'm not mad at that especially if we can what have we got one two three tyler f could grab that tile let's do that um, and let's just make sure that, whoops, that we get that tile as well. Brilliant. Um, I got worker with nothing to work. I got worker with nothing to work. Let's, oh, no, look, there you go. <laughs> These tiles, so good. They thought Scientopia was a meme. What video am I most proud of? That is a really tough question. Um, I think it, I think it has to be my very first Civ 5 tutorial just because um, it's not my highest quality video by any means, right? It was made, goodness, five years ago. Uh, and then I took like a four year break and basically did nothing on YouTube since and came back to discover, oh, Krakatoa, Sincos Tan, came back to discover, um, it had had, uh, it, it, it had blown up really. And, um, uh, currently I think it's at about it's over a quarter of a million views. Yes, golden age. Thank goodness. This will see our yields um, rocket, rocket away. Um, yeah, it's, it's had like over a quarter of a million views. So that has to be my, my proudest video. Um, just because of the reach that it had. The impact. Like that's honestly, that's the cool part. It's not just, oh cool, it's got lots of views. Wow, look at me and my great views. Um, it's actually about the just the reach and the scale like how many people's lives have you know like that's that's the part that i love the most about it like how many people's lives has it touched how many people learned something new from it how many people hated it how many people commented like it just it's so cool to see something that i've made which is not my best product granted but just like something that i've made um reach so many people so yeah that's that is definitely at the moment my my uh the video that i'm most proud of not because of, of its production quality but because of its reach and potential impact uh double adjacency bonuses the city provides plus two gold let's double our adjacency bonuses that's really strong especially because it, it stacks with our policy card cards right <laughs> i'm losing my voice <laughs> i might have to stop soon i'm, I'm literally losing my voice um, but I love this. It's so cool to have New Zealand in a Civ game. I remember playing Civ Five years and years ago, and still to this day, of course. Um, and thinking, why can't why can't New Zealand be in this? I want to be in this game. Uh, as I'm sure lots of you who are from places that uh, maybe aren't as like mainstream feel. Um, yep, we got a frigate. Fantastic frigate. 
all the military policies suck. <laughs> like, they actually do. Um, okay, so we got back these insane... We've got some new insane policies. Trade routes can't be plundered. International trade routes can plus three gold. So that's just a huge cash cow that is just better than that in every way. Uh, while your projects are active, each of your citizens exerts plus loyalty. Cool, but not, I, not needed. Uh, plus 10% production towards wonders campus district adjacency provides production as well so that's a wee production boost cities receive plus one culture for every district plus 25 percent production towards non-specialty districts entertainment complex and water park can be bought with faith that's really good for me let's throw um i do want that I don't really want to lose that. <laughs> I mean, that swaps for that always because that's just extra money. Now, do I want 16 culture over 8, 8, 8, and 8? I don't really care about the gold or the faith. So it's kind of like, do I want 16 culture over 8 science and 8 culture? Uh, trade routes to city-states receive plus 2 gold. Yep. Um, it would also give me the ability to buy those with faith. We're going to do it for now and then put Raj in there and get the best of absolutely both worlds. That's fantastic. Right. So we can actually buy entertainment complex and water park buildings with faith. And we should definitely do that. Um... Where, where is actually going to be good for it though? That's what I'm wondering. We could purchase land units, which is cool. Uh, but ideally, ideally we want to actually make use of that. See, that's not helpful. Block a shock. What are you producing at the moment? A coal power plant. I think we maxed out. Yeah, we did. Dang it. We can't really cap a diem on that one, can we? We'll keep it in the back of our minds. Maybe we swap it out later. Um, I'm thinking maybe still playing as Japan. Going great. Wicked. Good to hear, dude. I, I haven't played Hojo in, in, in a, again, a really long time. <laughs> Mm, actually, no. Let's get let's just get another governor. Um, because governors are just good. Governors are always good. We could put her in a city state, but I don't feel any great need to. Um. guess we'll just chuck her and spend gold there's no immediate loyalty concerns here especially not while we're in a golden age i mean come on hong kong nervously looks nervously looks out to the ocean <laughs> or or we set our sights a little higher right we have options here we do have options I'd love to womp Australia. Should we? Should New Zealand attack Australia? It's not that far away. Especially not for my amazing fleet. Let's, um... Let's see what we can do here, shall we? New Zealand v Australia. I think that's a fun idea. I think that's a really fun idea. I know we're not playing a war game, but... I'm kind of excited by that idea. What do you think, chat? I 
I'm hearing some yes do it. I am going to end the stream here though, friends. My sore throat is just getting a little bit sore. Um, so I'm going to have to take a rest. But the weekend is young and I will pick this up again next time. We're going to, it's going to be New Zealand versus Australia, which for those of you who are not familiar, which you may not be, uh, granted, a couple of small nations in the South Pacific, who cares? Um, age old rivalry, right? Two very similar countries, very similar accents, one much larger than the other, granted, but still an age old rivalry nonetheless. So I think next time, oh, the Māori make history with their fantastic commercial hub as well. Next time, we're going to do it. It's going to be the ultimate showdown, New Zealand versus Australia. Yeah, 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 yeah. Looks like we're supportive. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to wrap up uh, the stream here. Thank you so, so, so very much to Sebastian W, Tyler F, uh, I was going to say Scientopia. <laughs> Devilish uh, and Block of Chalk. Uh, welcome to the new channel members and subscribers. It's really cool to have you here. Uh, thanks so much to everybody who's tuned in live. And if you're watching the YouTube VOD as well, thank you. Um, I, I really do appreciate you guys who watch it afterwards. One who actually owns Pavlova and one who does not. Oh, controversial. Controversy. Let's hope you're on the right side of history there, Joey. <laughs> Uh, otherwise, yeah, that will do me. Uh, thank you so very much for joining me this morning for an early Saturday morning stream. Uh, I'll pick up another one very soon. Very soon. This weekend, um, I'll post the thing and let you know as soon as I'm going live, as soon as I've planned it out. Um, but yeah, uh, otherwise, um, oh my god. Sebastian with the last minute $20 super chat. Oh goodness gracious. Just I was literally literally about to click end stream. Wow. Wow wow wow. Thank you so much. Sebastian, goodbye, have a great day. I will be back. Oh my dude. You are outstanding. Can we just get a quick applause in either the comment section down below or the chat for Sebastian? Yeah, really cool. Really cool. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so very much to all the generous donors. Uh, that has... Sebastian, you have single-handedly inspired me to stream again. So we will stream again, maybe the same time tomorrow. Uh, probably the same time tomorrow. So maybe pencil that into your diaries. Um, and I will uh, also be working on uh, some videos uh, before then as well. So yeah, thank you so much, Sebastian. You rock. Thank you also to the regular channel members and everyone who's commented and joined me live. Jake Barge, Rick uh, Richard Kingston. Uh, Joey, Biggest Boofer, T Fru, Block of Chalk, lots of regular names in the channel. It's so cool, so cool to see you guys here. Thank you so very much. Uh, and I'll catch you tomorrow for the great New Zealand versus Australia showdown. Uh, be sure to join me. And